Here's my help. You inspire us. We're making health care exceptional for everyone across the Midlands and upstate. With more access to the highest level of care, research innovations, and patient education, we're committed to helping you be your healthiest you. For appointments, visit prismahealth.org slash inspired. The City of Orangeburg and the Department of Public Utilities are proud to partner with South Carolina State University Bulldogs. It takes hard work and dedication to be a winning team, and the Bulldogs are a great example of that spirit. Just like the Bulldogs, the City and DPU work hard to provide championship caliber services to the citizens we serve. We will continue to make use of that Bulldog tenacity to provide a quality of life that our community so richly deserves. Malcolm Gambrell about to introduce the Jacksonville Dolphins. But again, Bill, it's going to be real important for Eric Martin's ball club to get off to a good start. I said it's going to be good. Eric, it's going to be important for Eric Martin's team to get off to a good start. <laughs> oh, indeed. I, I, was, I was waiting. I was waiting on the, the, <laughs> him to introduce the starting lineup, but he's doing it right now. Yeah. Malcolm Gambrell, a young man that Kendrick found over next to it, crossing, doing a good job. So for Jacksonville, they're going to start the one. Drew it, Donovan Rivers, Marcus Niblack, Robert McCrae, and Jarius Cook. Let's join Malcolm Gambrell as he introduces your South Carolina State football. <laughs> Carolina State some inside present, but is 
Coach Martin admitted the other night he didn't get what he wanted out of straight Jones. Not a big Jacksonville team. Donovan Rivers is going to get the start at center. He's going to be jumping center. Donovan Rivers built not that tall, 6'9". So he and Drayton Jones will be eye to eye. Jacksonville going to my left to our right. Bulldogs to my right to our left. Well, let's see if South Carolina State can cut out on those 18 turnovers they had in that loss the other night. It's controlled by the Bulldogs. McCarty hands it in the front court. Gives it over to Mitchell Taylor. Mitchell Taylor will be guarded by Robert McRae. Left wing is Davion Everett. Back out front to Shimon Austin. Man-to-man -man defense by Jacksonville. Left wing is McCarty. McCarty takes a couple dribbles towards the top of the key. Keeps the dribble alive. Passes right side to Shimon Austin. Man-to-man -man defense by Jacksonville. Entry pass to Drayton Jones. Jones. Spins. Left hand jump hook is no good. Rebounded by Jacksonville. Coming away with it. That was Donovan Rivers. And here come the Dolphins. Marcus Knee Black will bring it up across the timeline. Give it to Robert McCray. Back over to Pruitt. Pruitt will hand off to Jarius Cook. Right side McCray. McCray will shoot to three. It's off the front of the rim. Goes out of bounds. Like touch hit. by South Carolina State of this. So it'll be on Jacksonville basketball. They'll inbound from under their own basket. Marcus Kneeblack will inbound. Kneeblack looking, lobs it out to Pruitt. Pruitt at the free throw line, starts to drive, left corner, McCray. The lefty three-pointers up, it's off the back of the rim, rebounded by McCarty of South Carolina State. And here come the Bulldogs. Mitchell Taylor in the front court. Taylor on the left wing. Dribbles toward the top of the key, keeping the dribble alive, man-to-man -man defense. Taylor goes left wing to Drayton Jones. Jones inside Jamon Austin. Austin guarded by Robert McCray. Spin move, Austin. Back out front of Davion Edmonds. Over to Mitchell Taylor. Taylor pump fake, stops, shoots, 15 first. It's good. Mitchell Taylor's first bucket. Bulldogs with the early lead, 2-0. 18-39 to go in the first half. Good start for the Bulldogs. That jump by uh, Taylor. Knee black up the floor. In the left corner to Cook. Back over to Pruitt, back to Cook on the baseline, starts to drive. It's blocked, but he comes, hangs, and puts it off the glass. Nicely done. Jarius Cook with the bucket, and we're tied at two. Showing good at hang time there. As the two Bulldogs took the swipe at it. Taylor giving go to Trey Jones. Knocked away, stolen by the Dolphins. Robert McCray hands it on the fast break. Right side to Jones over to Cook again for three. It's off the back of the rim, rebounded by McCarty. He'll give over to Mitchell Taylor, and here come the Bulldogs. Up the left side. Right side pass now to Shimon Austin. Austin on the right wing, keeping the dribble alive. Goes to the top of the key to Mitchell Taylor. Taylor's drive, pass in the left corner to Drayton Jones. Drayton Jones bounce pass inside to Devion Everett, goes out of bounds. It'll be last touch by Jacksonville. Substitutions for the Bulldogs, Michael Teal, and also coming in the game for South Carolina State number 22, that is James Morrow. Morrow, 6'8", freshman. Inbound to Divion Everett on the baseline. Mitchell Taylor out front for the Bulldogs. Right wing to Teal. Back top of the key, Taylor starts to drive. Taylor puts up the floor. It's off the back of the rim. Rebound and fall forward. Covered by the Bulldogs. Teal will shoot to three. It's good. Michael Teal with the bucket to the Bulldogs. Lead 5-2. Whole lot more energy, Bill Hamilton. Yes, indeed. And Bulldogs are fighting on the boards, which uh, took Eric... Martin loves to see. Robert McCray in the front court. Goes right side to Knee Black. Knee Black guarded by Mitchell Taylor. We're man to man defense. 5 2 Bulldogs lead. 17 11 there to go in the first half. Knee Black goes right side to Cook. Back over to Knee Black out front. Knee Black goes left wing to Robert McCray. Left baseline is Cook. Cook will shoot the three. It's good. Jarius Cook is not shot. I tell you. And, uh, He's got all five of the Dolphins' points. Teal out front guarded by Robert McRae. Teal, top of the key to Davion Everett. Everett guarded by Pruitt. Everett hands off to Mitchell Taylor, top of the key to, to Teal. He's guarded by McRae. Teal starts to drive back over to Morrow. Morrow at the free throw line, drives in, lays it up, off too hard off the glass. Rebounded by Mitchell Taylor for the Bulldogs. Taylor starts to drive, challenges the big man, puts it in tomorrow. It's blocked inside by Rivers and recovered by Dol by Jacksonville. What great defense by the Dolphins. I tell you, two inside looks by the Bulldogs, and uh, Jacksonville was able to fall both of them. Knee black gets fouled on the drive by Mitchell Taylor and a goal free throw line to shoot two. Fast-paced game here. We're yes. tied at 
time, 16-14 to go here in the first half. Both the big guys, the Devion, uh, Everett, and uh, Morrow had chances inside, and uh, they were four by uh, the defense of the Dolphins. Eric Martin about to get in, Raquan Brown, and Wilson Dubinsky. They'll replace Mitchell Taylor and Caleb McCarty. Coming in for Jacksonville is number 10, Tiafi Powell, a 6'3", Richard Jr. from Jacksonville, Florida. Knee Black's first free throw was good. He'll have another one coming. I said Jacksonville had decided height advantage will not on this game. We're about the same size. Knee Black's second attempt is up and good. 7-5 now. Jacksonville's lead is two. Teal across the timeline. Teal guarded by McCray. Left wing is, Rico, is uh, Davion Everett. Out front to Wilson Dubinsky. Right side is Morrow. Morrow on the right wing, tries to hand off, can't do it. Morrow in trouble. Devion Everett has to save it. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Dubinsky for three. It's good. Wilson Dubinsky. Now, you know, he's very capable of shooting that, that shot. Hopefully he could get a groove going. Eight, seven, Bulldogs lead is one. 15.30 to go here in the first half. Pruitt starts to drive. Pruitt. Across the floor, out front to McCray for three. Roberts off the back of the rim. Going to be a penalty, uh, a foul inside. That's about to be a penalty marker. Foul inside on Morrow. With 15.30 to go here in the first half, our score, South Carolina State 8. Jacksonville 7, uh, Bulldog football after Bulldog football. Jimmy said Bulldog football, but uh, Bulldog basketball after this message. It's hot. Everything is expensive right now. Gas, food, you name it. You're spending more, you are making the same or less money. So, what do you do? You rack up credit card debt, that's what you do. It's not your fault, it's the economy. And guess what? If you rack up too much credit card debt like some of us, you can't pay your bills. Then the credit card companies, as nice as they are, start hounding you for money. Then you start your downward spiral. A smart thing for you to do is to call the Zero Debt. They can help you consolidate all your credit card bills into one affordable payment. Millions of people have done it. It works to make you debt free. Make this free call right now. It costs you nothing to learn more. 800-507-7293. 800-507-7293. 800-507-7293. That's 800-507-7293. Welcome back to the Smith Hammond Middleton Memorial Center on the Robinson Bill Hamilton. 8-7, the Bulldog lead is one, but Bill, we're playing with a whole lot more energy than we did this past weekend. Uh, that's, that's something that certainly uh, Eric Martin is happy to see, because that was one of his complaints the other night, that his uh, club didn't match the energy of a Sumer Cookman. We have one connection here with Jacksonville at South Carolina State. One of the assistant coach, Trevor, Trevor DeLos, he was an assistant here on the Murray Garvin. Oh, really? Two years ago, yeah. Trevor DeLos. So the Bulldogs are led by Michael Teal's got a three. Davinsky's got a three. Jacksonville's got five points from Jarius Cook. And the only other person to score is Michael Kneeblatt. Yeah, I'd like to see uh, Davinsky get going. Uh, Coach Martin said Bethune Cook was one of their scouting things was to stop Javinsky from hitting the three. Teal across the timeline, guarded by Robert McCray. Gets a big, keeps the drive going, lob up, and missed the shot inside was Drayton Jones. Perfect lob from Teal. Drayton Jones spin move, and they're going to get a foul inside, but Drayton Jones had an opportunity, Bill, and missed a gimme inside. Yep, that's, that's a couple of baskets he's missed inside uh, so far this evening. Bull, ball went out of bounds, so it'll be the Bulldogs will inbound from under own basket on the left side. Michael Teal will do it. Gets over to, to Dubinsky, back over to Drayton Jones. Jones hawked on the elbow. Gives it over to Dubinsky. Dubinsky tries to go inside to Drayton Jones across the floor to Waycorn for three. It's off the back of the rim, rebounded by Jacksonville. Coming checking into the game for Jacksonville. That is number zero, Stephon Payne with the rebound. Payne with the drive. His shot is blocked, goes out of bounds. Nice block by James Morrow. Yes, indeed. Goes out of bounds. It'll be Jacksonville's basketball under the Dolphin hoop. Good rejection there by Morrow. Knee black will inbound. Lobs it 
Out front to Stephon Payne. Payne almost went to backcourt. Passes over to Giassi Powell. Powell on the right wing. Powell drives to free throw line. Left, side, left wing is Robert McCray. McCray has it knocked away and stolen. Fought for Drake Jones has it, but he's going to get tied up. Possession error to South Carolina State. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Jacksonville. Jacksonville will maintain possession. Yeah, the hell ball. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Robin McCray, the Columbia native, scoreless so far, but we know what he can do based on his average. Powell, uh, knee black will inbound. Lobs are too high, stolen by Dubinsky. Here come the Bulldogs. Two on two, Dubinsky goes upside to Teal. Hands over to Dubinsky. Dubinsky spin move is knocked away. Knee black, I thought fouled. Wow, that was a the quite an exchange. And it goes out of bounds. And that's knee black, second foul. And, and it is number 20 is Jarris is back up. I take that back because it's first foul. Okay. Wilson Dubinsky will inbound just to my left. We're at court side. South Carolina State going from right to left here in the first half, leading 8 to 7. 14 34 to go in the first half. Dubinsky will inbound into the backcourt to Michael Teal, and Teal will walk it across the timeline. Teal guarded by Cook. Jarius Cook back in the game. Also in the game for the Bulldogs, Atiba Taylor. Taylor has the basketball out front. Atiba. Dribble short to the left side. Lost the handle for a second. In trouble. Tape. Tiva throws up a prayer, is not answered, rebounded over there by Jacksonville. Bulldogs, excuse me, Bulldogs got to get better shots. Cook for the drive. Cook goes right base on to McCray, out front to Powell. Powell, out front to Cook. Cook's going to shoot it. He doesn't hesitate, Bill. Missed the shot, rebounded by McCray. Got McCray called with the foul. Yeah, a little push, push, push off. A little push off there, and the fish was right there. Got him. <laughs> So it's the second team foul on Jacksonville. Atiba Taylor, Caleb McCarty's come back in, Michael Teal, Devion Everett, and Wilson Dubinsky for the Bulldogs. Robert McRae, Powell, Cook for Jacksonville. Teal on, um, Atiba Taylor on the left wing. Out front to Caleb McCarty. Hands over to Michael Teal out front. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Wilson Dubinsky puts up the three. It's off the back of the rim. Rebounded over there by Powell. Here comes Giassi Powell up the floor for Jacksonville. Left wing is Cook. Left corner is Robert McCray. McCray starts to drive. What quickness, and he slams it down. Wow. Robert McCray. What a blue pass, Devion Everett. A baseline move there for Sky. 9-8. Jacksonville reclaims the lead. Teal with the drive. It's going to be an offensive foul. Devion Everett, he moves. You can't move when you set those screens. 9-8 our score. Jacksonville leading 13-14 to go here in the first half. And that's, uh, you, the players know when you're setting that screen, you got to. Dewan Pruitt will inbound into the bank court to Giassi Powell. Brought it by Mitchell Taylor's come back in. Powell between the leg dribble. Dribbles on the left side. Gives it over to Robert McCray. McCray guarded by Tiba Taylor. Cray, step back three. It's good, my goodness, Bill. Well, step back through from way beyond the arc. Well, he was scoreless for those first seven and a half minutes, but five in a row. Five in a row, yep. 12 8 now. The Jacksonville lead is four. Omar Krofsky in the game for the Bulldogs. It goes top of the key. McCray steals it. McCray with the move, throws it up. And in, my goodness, Robert McCray, a one man wrecking crew, gets fouled and it goes in. Seven straight points. Uh, well, now they may be calling an offensive foul. Nope. No such luck for us. There's a timeout on the floor with 12.43 to go here. In the first half, our score, Jacksonville 14, South Carolina State 8. But, Bill, I told you he's a prolific player. He was a great player at A.C. Florida High School in Columbia. Went to Wake Forest, evidently. It didn't work out. And, um... He's playing well. Yep. Uh, you know, he, as I said, he comes in averaging over 18 points per game. The lead scored. Got off to a slow start, but he's hit seven in a row for the Dolphins and has a chance to add to that at the free throw line. 12.43 to go here in the first half. He, uh, I, I thought he got a warning there from the official when he made that basket. 
It looked like he was taunting our player a little bit. I'm not sure. Well, McCray is the, is the real deal. I mean, he comes yeah, into this game averaging 18 points a game. Well, he's taking seven, seven rebounds. Yeah, he's taking over. I said seven rebounds, four rebounds a game. Yep, he has taken over. So McCray will be at the free throw line to try and complete a three-point play. For us, it's Mitchell Taylor, Tiba Taylor, Davion Everett, Caleb McCarty, um, I'm, I'm sorry, Omar Krosky, and Caleb McCarty. McCray's at the free throw line. What kind of free throw shoot is he? 71%. Pretty good, pretty good. And he misses the shot. Gonna be an offensive foul. I mean, uh, on the rebound, it's gonna be a foul on Payne. So the Bulldogs are coming with the basketball can cut into this six-point lead. Yep. As uh, the Dolphins have scored the last seven points, the Bulldogs once led eight to seven. Mitchell Taylor will walk it up for South Carolina State. Taylor across the timeline, greeted by Robert McCray. Between the leg dribble, passes right side to Omar Krosky. Into the right corner to Caleb McCarty. McCarty out front to Devion Everett on the wing. Top of the key to Tiba Taylor. Inside pass. Nicely done to Mitchell Taylor. Goal tendon call. It's on Robert McCray. Before McCray can get up, but it's a goal ten. <laughs> yes, it is. It's uh, a good basket by the Bulldogs. Good yeah. comeback. Yeah. 14-10. We pick him up full court. Tiba McCray's in the backcourt. Tiba found Mitchell Taylor breaking and got it to him. McCray across the timeline, crossover dribble, went by Taylor, into the corner, pow for three. It's off the front of the rim, going to be out of bounds. And it'll be South Carolina State basketball. 14-10 our score. Bulldogs trail by four. McCarty will inbound to Mitchell Taylor. He'll walk it up. Taylor greeted by Robert McCray at half court. Over to Devion Everett. Everett at the top of the key. Everett hands off to Atiba Taylor. It's all about the three. Atiba Taylor. Back over to Mitchell Taylor on the left side. Taylor. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Taylor starts to drive into the corner. Omar Krosky for three. It's off the back of the rim. Rebounded by Pruitt. He'll give over to Robert McCray, and here come the Dolphins. McCray. Going to be in. An offensive foul on a Tiba Taylor. No. It is on Tiba Taylor. Yeah. L look like uh, Robert McCray threw an elbow there, but he got away with it. Yep. There's a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout. 11.38 to go here in the first half. Our score, Bulldogs trail, 14-10. More Bulldog basketball after these messages. The lottery is not about getting rich. It's about helping people. And it always has been. The lottery is what helped raise the Great Wall of China, build the roads of Rome, and today in South Carolina, it's what generates millions of dollars each year for scholarships like the SC Hope, Life, and Palmetto Fellows. The South Carolina Education Lottery is investing in you. Visit sceducationlottery.com slash better you to learn more. Attention all car enthusiasts and Bulldog fans. Dick Dyer and Associates proudly present the latest lineup of Mercedes-Benz and Volvo cars, where elegance meets innovation. Visit our showroom and experience the thrill of Mercedes-Benz and Volvo cars firsthand. Dick Dyer and Associates, Mercedes, Volvo, and the South Carolina State University Bulldog. Together, we're shaping a winning future. Welcome back to the Smith Hammond Middle to Memorial Center. Ernest Robinson, Bill Hamilton. 14-10, Bulldogs hanging in there, Bill. Yep, and that's good. That's good, Ernest. We need to stay close, stay connected, as uh, Coach Eric Martin would say. But you don't want that uh, to, to get too far behind. Uh, not to work so hard to get back in the ball, in the ball game. Bulldogs balance scoring. Michael T with three, Domensky with three, Brady Jones with a basket, Mitchell Taylor with a basket, Robert McCray. That explosion, Bill, with seven three points. Seven, yep. Uh, he's the two, you know, Bulldogs, the lead scorer, Devian Everett, uh, hasn't got on track so far. He's having 11 points. I don't think he's got a shot yet. Yeah, he did get one inside that was blocked, I believe. Yeah. So he left it short. So Dubinsky, Simone Austin, Mitchell Taylor, 
Devion Everett and Caleb McCarty for the Bulldogs. For Jacksonville, it's going to be Neblock, Pruitt, Powell, Cook, and the big kid, Donovan Rivers. Neblock inbounds to Donovan Rivers. Rivers at 6'9", handles the basketball, gives it to Powell up front. Bulldogs playing tough defense inside the Pruitt. Pruitt starts to drive. Pruitt's going to get called, I think, with the offensive foul. Oh, it's going to travel. <laughs> offensive foul. Yep. On Pruitt. Foul. Nice job inside by the Bulldogs. Yeah, tried to bang his way to the basket and uh, got called for the offensive foul. Good defense. Bulldogs will take over. Mitchell Taylor will walk it up for South Carolina State. Taylor across the timeline, guarded by Nye Black. Taylor still kept the dribble alive. Left wing is Wilson Dubinsky. Man-to-man -man defense by Jacksonville. Back over to McCarty. Back over to Mitchell Taylor on the right wing now. Top of the key to Shimon Austin. Shot clock down to eight seconds. Dubinsky thought about the three. Pump fake. Back out front to Austin. Austin stops. Free throw line jump was good. Shimon Austin. Nice offense by the Bulldogs to make it a two-point game. Yeah, Austin uh, was a top defender and also... A top reserve for Eric Martin, Steen Blair. Powell for three. It's off the rim. Rebounded by Shimon Austin. Austin quickly up the floor up the left side. Austin fakes right, goes left with the pass to Mitchell Taylor. Taylor in trouble. Tries to go by Cook. Cook's going to get caught with the foul. Yeah, a good move there by Taylor. Was trying to make a move on the baseline there and picked up the foul. It's just four, each, uh, four fouls each for both teams so far. Wilson Dubinsky will inbound some under the Bulldog basketball. No, they changed that up. McCray just re-entered after getting a little breather there. Mitchell Taylor will inbound from under the Bulldog basket. The referee asks Donovan Rivers to give Mitchell Taylor a little room. Taylor to inbound. Does so. Has his pass knocked away by Robert McCray. It'll still be the Bulldogs basketball. Well, McCray is something, isn't he, Bill? I tell you, man. Now Outstanding athlete. They know, look like he knows the game, too. They switch sides now. Taylor's going to inbound from under the right side of the basket. Under the Bulldog basket. They had not handed it to him yet. He's got it now. Here we go. He started to count. Taylor. Looking. It's hard. Gets it to Dominski. Dominski double team. Back over to Shimon Austin. Tips it to Taylor. Taylor reverse layup. This is good. Great offense by the Bulldogs. Good side at 14. Excuse me, it's good recognition now by Austin to tip the ball over. Six points for Mitchell Taylor. McCray with the basketball. Inchy pass inside the Pruitt. It goes through Donovan Rivers' his hand. Knife like thought about the three. Gets it over to Powell. Powell has a trouble securing the basketball. Now goes to Rivers. Rivers on the left wing to Nyblack. Starts the baseline drive. It is blocked over there by Shimon Austin. Great defense by Austin. Quick enough to close to Dubinsky. Dubinsky tries to go by McCray. Can't do it. Inside pass to Caleb McCarty for the slam dunk and the Bulldogs retake the lead. 16. McCray back up the floor for Jacksonville. McCray probing. In baseline pass to Rivers. Rivers has a block by David and Everett. They call a foul. Uh -huh. got him, Bill. Is that his second of the night? Yes, that's yeah. his second. He'll need to sit down. Yeah, he has to go out. He has to sit out the rest of his head. Over Looks like the Bulldogs are going to make wholesale changes. Drayton Jones, Michael Teal, James Morrow, and Jordan Simpson going to come in. All right, that's the guy I'd like to see get going, Jordan Simpson. Rivers misses the first free throw. You know, Simpson is coming off a number of all rookie team of uh, preseason all conference. He just hasn't been able to get going. Payne comes in for Jacksonville. Rivers another free throw attempt. Second was up. It's good. 16-15. The Bulldog lead is one. 9:38 to go here in the first half. Shimon Austin will walk it up for South Carolina State. Austin guarded by McCray. Left wing is Jordan Simpson. Simpson guarded by Nye Black. Top of the key to Drayton Jones. Jones upside to Morrow. Morrow to Shimon Austin. Austin off balance. Spins. Fade away. Rattles. No good. James uh, Morrow came in. Will get found coming over the back. Yep. They got him that time. He's 
making an effort to try to get the stick back, but he came over the back. That's the six foul. Cook will come in. I'm sorry, Nye, uh, Cook will come in. Powell will sit down. Nye Black, Cook, McCray, Rivers, and Payne for Jacksonville. Jordan, Michael Keel, Drayton Jones, Shabon Austin, and James Morrow for the Bulldogs in the front court. Nye Black off the glass, nicely done. Wow. Nye Black, nice jumper to take the lead. 17-16, Jacksonville's lead is one. Well, he showed really good touch. Really good touch, but put that off the glass. Michael Teal's pass knocked out of bounds. It'll be South Carolina State basketball in the front court. Jordan Simpson will inbounds. Looks like a 2-3 is a two -three matchup zone bill or they man-to-man? -man? They're man-to-man. -man. Man -man, yeah. Michael Teal in the front court. They've been very aggressive with that man-to-man, -man too. Teal looking for some help. In trouble, gets it over Jordan Simpson. Give and go to Teal. Teal has been knocked out of bounds. It's knocked out by Cook. It'll be South Carolina State's basketball, but only 13 seconds remain on the shot clock. Yeah, Coach Martin is complaining. He thought that was a foul. Teal did fumble the ball a bit. Teal inbounds on the right baseline. Teal intercepted by Nye Black. Nye Black gives over to McCray. Back over to Cook, lays it up and in. A lot of unselfish basketball by Jacksonville. They extend their lead to three with eight and a half to go here in the first half. Cook now has seven on a points unofficially above the Dolphins. Keel goes left wing, Shimon Austin, guarded by McCray. Austin starts the drive. Austin lays it up, floater, it rattles, it doesn't go in, rebounded by McCray. McCray, behind the back dribble, goes by Teal, lobs it up, it is knocked away, Rivers has it, Rivers inside moves, slams it down. Donovan Rivers and Jacksonville lead back up to five. 21-16 with eight minutes to go in the first half. Teal guarded by McCray. Stolen by McCray. McCray lays it up. Missed the shot. Got the rebound. McCray did. McCray back over to Black. Not Black. Not Black. Start the drive. Not Black across the floor to Cook. Cook top of the key to, to McCray. McCray left corner. Not Black for three. It's good. Not Black for three. And Eric Martin has seen enough. Yep. Let's get the... Uh, Timeout. 24-16. Quick little run by Jacksonville to open it up to an eight-point lead with 7.39 to go here in the first half. We'll take a time now. we have more Bulldog basketball after these messages. In times of economic uncertainty and chaos, your money means nothing. You may not even be able to get it from your bank or ATM. And the money you do have in the stock market will go down and down. What you can bank on is gold and silver. Gold and silver have been a reliable and trusted form of currency for thousands of years. Gold and silver have never been worth zero, and typically gold holds its value during economic turmoil. Call the gold hotline now and learn how to protect your money and your assets with gold and silver. And learn how to set up a new IRA or roll over your current one into a gold-backed IRA. Protect your money from the next market crash with gold and silver. Call now for your free gold guide. 800-281-4224. 800-281-4224. 800-281-4224. 800-281-4224. That's 800-281-4224. Thank you. the Smith Hammond Middleton Memorial Center and it's Robinsonville Hamilton. Bulldogs are right there with Jacksonville. Bill had a 16-15 lead and then Jacksonville just blew right by. Yeah, they scored they actually up 16-14 uh, there, I believe. Uh, they scored 10 straight points in the last two and a half minutes and that's what Coach Martin was saying. You got to stop those runs when you get give up 10 points in two and a half minutes. Uh, you got to do better on defense. You know, a minute ago we said Robert McCray was leading Jacksonville with seven points. How they got three guys? Marcus <laughs> Nye Black and Jarius Cook both have seven points to beat. Yeah, three guys with seven points. Wow. You the Bulldogs, they got, they got Mitchell Taylor down with four to lead for 
I have them down with six, but I, I'm unofficial. 7.39 to go here in the first half. It'll be the Bulldogs basketball. We need to score. On, on the floor for the Bulldogs, Caleb McCarty, Omar Krosky, Wilson Dabinsky, Mitchell Taylor, and James Morrow. Mitchell Taylor will walk it up. He'll be greeted by Nye Black. Let's see if they could get Omar Krosky involved. You know, he's their best three-point shooter. Taylor goes top of the key to Caleb McCarty on the right wing. McCarty looking over the defense. Rivers coming up out on it. Hands over to McCroskey. McCroskey spin move. Lays it up. No, tried to go to Morrow. Threw it away. McCray comes up with the steal. It was a good pass. Morrow just wasn't ready for Left it. Left wing for Night Black. They're going to say Night Black travel. Yep. He tried to pull up there. 24 16 our score. Wholesale substitutions for the Bulldogs. Back into the game for the Bulldogs will be Mitchell Taylor. And Simone Austin. Yep. 24 16, 7 12 to go here in the first half. Eight point lead. Bulldogs need to get something going. Too many empty opportunities down court for South Carolina State. Taylor in the front court for the Bulldogs. Right wing is Wilson Dabinsky for three. It's good. Wilson Dabinsky with the three pointer. It's second of the night. 24 19. McCray with the basketball in the backcourt. He'll walk it up, waves everybody off. Heads toward the right side. Behind the back dribble. McCarty knocks it away, goes in the backcourt. Wilson, um, McCray recovers. McCray in trouble, goes left side to Nye Black. Nye Black runs into trouble. Right wing is McCray. McCray starts to drive. McCray lays it up and in. Got fouled off the glass. James Morrow with the foul, but what a drive by Robert McCray. I tell you, he's a good looking player. Well, what high school you say play with? AC Floor. AC Floor. They won the state championship that, thing this that year. With, with him? Yep. Wow, he looks awfully good, man. 26 to 19 on score. And yep. he's at the free throw line. Yep. Looking for his 10th pointer tonight. Tonight. Davion Everett comes in for James Morrow, who's got his second personal foul. Doesn't Everett have two fouls? Yeah, he does. I, I got him down for two. McCray's first attempt is up. Oh, that, that's it. Completed three-point play. 27-19 to lead back up to eight. We need a bucket. Yeah, need to get Davion Everett going. He's our lead scorer. And score is so far. Mitchell Taylor with the basketball. Taylor up front. Hands over to Shimon Austin. Austin, backdoor pass to Caleb McCarty for the slam. What a nice backdoor bounce pass from Shimon Austin. Excellent assist. Powell with the basketball for Jacksonville, guarded by Shimon Austin. Austin is just a quality player. Powell. See, I like him. Left wing now is Nye Black. Nye Black started to drive. I thought he traveled, stopped, shoots. It's good. Boy, Nye Black and uh, Cook, they are good shooters. They got really nice touch. 29-21. Both of them need to get a stop sooner or later. Davion Everett, top of the key to Taylor. Right wing is Caleb McCarty. McCarty, back over to Davion Everett, top of the key. Everett starts to drive. Everett muscles up, shot is blocked, goes out of bounds. On the call of foul. So Davion will go to the free throw line with an opportunity to get two. Opportunity to get his first points of the night. Now he's the Bulldogs' leading scorer coming in here. Having 11 points, and he's also the leading rebound, the 7.4. Drayton Jones about to come in with Michael Teal for the Bulldogs. 29-21. Yeah, Drayton Jones needs to get going inside. Everett misses the first free throw. Only a 54% free throw shoot on the season. Yep. He'd like to see him get that percentage up uh, more. Second attempt is up. It's off the back of the rim. Rebounded by Robert McCray. Bulldogs come up empty. 29-21, five and a half to go. First half, McCray starts to drive as fast as deflected. McCarty tips it to Dubinsky. Three on one break. Michelle Mullen Austin to Davion Everett. Everett missed the slam off the front of the rim. I think he hurt himself too. He's still down. Pow. He's still With down. With the drive. Open to McCray. He may be more embarrassed than anything. Not Black has it knocked away by McCarty. Here comes Everett back up the floor. Yeah. I think you're right, Bill. Yeah. 
had an open opportunity there. Sometimes it's just good to lay it up. Kendrick Lewis looked at you as if to say, that's the only thing I could have ever done is lay it up. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah. the lights have gone out here. Oh, the scoreboard is gone, yeah. Oh, that's why. It's that's a timeout. A timeout. Must be what happened to me in my house. My Christmas lights <laughs> shut the lights off. <laughs> oh, two you using too much power. I don't know what happened. <laughs> you got them back on? I did get them back on. <laughs> got to take a timeout. What was the score, Bill? The score, uh, I don't remember. I, I can't tell you with the scoreboard out. We'll be back with more Bulldog basketball after these messages. It's a new day for health care in Bamberg, Calhoun, and Orangeburg counties. That's because MUSC Health, the top-ranked hospital in South Carolina, is elevating local care by improving current services and introducing new services and technology. Now there's no need to travel for superior care. MUSC Health, we're changing what's possible so you can stay close to home. Learn more at muschealth.org slash Orangeburg. Hello, I'm Harold Young, Orangeburg County Administrator. Myself and County Council would like to welcome you to South Carolina State University in Orangeburg County. South Carolina State games are like no other. They are important to the students, the alumni, and especially our community. For those coming back home, welcome to the new Orangeburg. And for those already here, let's continue to make it better. Congratulations to President Alexander Conyers and the South Carolina State University. So let's go Coach Pugh and leave Bulldogs. Let's get this win. And as always, it's a great day in Orangeburg County. Thank you. Welcome back to Smith Hammond Middleton Memorial Center. Oh, they got the scoreboard back up because, Bill, I was going to say, we yeah. are going to be in a world of trouble. I know. Cindy uh, Fulton, our equipment guy, went over there. He I, I see Arnold with a bunch of cords in his hand. That's, yeah. that's not a good look. Cindy oh. got it going. He, he used to keep the clock, so he's familiar with it. The scoreboard, I mean. Sydney Fulton, the equipment manager yeah. at South Carolina State, knows where everything is. How about that? So it'll be Jacksonville basketball, leading by eight, 442 to go here in the first half. Bulldogs have been down by eight. Need to stay close. Marcus Nyblack will inbound. Nyblack, Rivers, Payne, Cook, and Powell for Jacksonville. Dubinsky, Teal, Austin. Drayton Jones and Raquan Brown for the Bulldogs. And we're just waiting for the referees to decide we can go. And they're over there at, at the scores table. And then the clock's back on. 5.05 to go here in the first half. We trail by 8, 29 to 21. Glad to have you with us. Monday night basketball. It's free, folks. If you're out and about, got nothing to do, want to. Have some fun. Come on over to the Smith Hammond Middleton Memorial Center on the campus of SC State and watch some free basketball. Indeed. Uh, so tonight, Black will inbound. He's in the front court along the left baseline in front of the Bulldog bench. Does so to Rivers. Rivers will hand back over to Nye Black. Jacksonville with their green and white j uniforms. And they called, uh, what is they pointing to the clock? You know, I just noticed, Bill, just to give you an idea, when I was in high school, our colors were the green and white like you see for Jacksonville. Is that right? Those were the Bendersville Green Gremlins. The Green Gremlins, yeah. <laughs> Nine black will inbound uh, on the opposite side now. Five minutes to go here in the first half. Marcus looking for somebody. Gets it to Powell. Powell guarded by Dubinsky. Left wing is Cook back over to Powell. Top of the key, way out front. Powell starts to drive, five seconds on the shot clock, puts up the runner, it's off the glass. Wow. Incredible shot. Good looking. Yossi Powell with the jumper. 31-21, it's an eight-point lead. We need a bucket. Uh, it's a ten-point lead. I, I said yeah. ten-point lead, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Austin with the basketball. Austin to Raekwon Brown. Raekwon, top of key to Dubinsky. Right side is Teal. Teal, right wing is Austin. Austin, right corner, Dubinsky for three. It's off the rim, rebounded by Drayton Jones. Jones double team. Jones is passed to Austin, is intercepted by Pruitt. He had number 11 right over here, uh, wide open. I'm surprised. Okay, they Mark. throw it away. Now they throw it away. Dolphins throw it away, goes over the head and across our heads here on the scores table. 
So it'll be the Bulldogs basketball. Kayla McCarty comes back in the game. Drake Jones comes out. Dubinsky inbounds to Michael Teague in the backcourt. Teague will walk it across the timeline. Teague goes left wing to Wilson Dubinsky. Dubinsky looking over the defense. Inside to McCarty, left corner jumper by Raquan Brown is no good. Rebounded over there by Payne. Payne pulls it down, gives it to Marcus Nyblack. Nyblack across the timeline to Powell. Powell, 17 footer is up. It's off the rim, rebounded by Raquan Brown. Out to Michael Teal. Teal over to McCarty. McCarty took it to Mellon Austin, lays it up and in. And Austin is fouled. Come on, Austin. He's having a good night. That's four points for him, and he has uh, three assists. Nice lean. That's on the Marcus Nyblack. Eric Martin is up and excited cheering his team on as they cut into this lead. It's an eight-point lead with an opportunity for a three-point blank. Yeah, Martin is uh, aware of, you know, you got to stay close. You know, we have not finished the game strong uh, lately, so, you know, you got to stay close. So you won't have to you know, Bill, I really appreciate Coach Martin's attitude after yep. the last game. He talked about himself having to have patience with his team, yep. you know, and not get upset. But, you know, you got to coach him up. And instead of yelling and screaming at him, you know, coach him up. Yep. And he, I think he's doing a great job of doing yep. that. I thought he was very candid about the issues they're having there. And uh, hopefully uh, they can turn things around here. You know, we've dropped seven in a row. Got to get a win. 3.41 to go here in the first half. We trail by eight, 31-23. Both teams in the bonus. Yep. Austin will be at the free throw line. Ernest Robinson, Bill Hellman, I'm glad to have you with us on a Monday night on WPJK ESPN Orangeburg. Thank you. Like the best kid with two threes uh, leading the Bulldogs with six points. Interesting enough, Bill, that both teams have 13 rebounds. Yep. Bulldogs have five offensive rebounds. Jacksonville only two offensive rebounds. Uh, the shooting percentages are really a uh, difference again, Ernest. They're shooting over 54%. Bulldogs shoot just 40%. Got to pick that up. It will help if we can knock down some free throws. Yeah. Bulldogs 0 for 2 so far. Jacksonville 4 of 6. Devon Austin to the free throw line. He's going to change all that. He's played well since uh, he got the start tonight. I want to say Austin with the AC floor as well, Bill. I don't know if he and he and um, the McCray played together at AC floor, but I think Shimon with the AC floor. First free throw attempt is no good. Miss goes out of bounds. His last touch by Donovan Rivers. So the Bulldogs get a break, even though we missed the free throw. Goes out of bounds. We'll get the basketball. Opportunity for a four-point play. They got Shimon Austin down to coming from Nation Ford High School. And uh, that's in Columbia? No, that's in Black Hill. Black Hill, okay. Field the inbound. Does throw to Wilson Dubinsky. Over to McCarty. Low pass. McCarty starts to drive, lays it up and in. And an opportunity for a three-point play. Yep. Bulldogs cut it to six, can cut it to five. Good move inside, put it up with the left hand, and now he's in the end one. Well, Caleb McCarty's a nice basketball player. Yes, indeed. We, I played with a kid like that, Bill, in high school, with the same kind of build. Bill, Folks, yeah. Caleb McCarty's really skinny. And, but he can leap. <laughs> you, know, you know what his nickname was? No. Spider-Man. <laughs> Caleb McCarty looks like Spider-Man. I tell you. 31-26 now. Made an excellent move. That Five-point Jacksonville lead. Here come the Dolphins. Powell across the timeline gets it to Robert McCray. McCray guarded by Austin. That's a nice matchup. McCray starts to drive. Nearly stolen by Raquan Brown. Knocks it away. Recovered by Rivers. Over to Powell. Giassi between the leg dribble. Fade away. It's off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Austin. Bulldogs up the floor. McCray. He did Dips make a good the pass. Yep. McCray tries to go by Austin as a pick up his dribble. Out front to Giassi Powell for a long three. It's no good. Rebounded by Payne. Payne not going to get it up. Fouled inside. Raquan Brown. Good foul by Raquan. 
Yes, indeed. What kind of shooter is Payne uh, from the line? Well, I'll tell you what, I, I like our chances with him from 15 feet as opposed to 2 feet. <laughs> Omar Payne. Oh, he shoots about 75%. That's pretty good. Yep. Yeah, you might want to check that again. Payne's first attempt is up and good. Oh. Oh, no, this is just for in the conference. I got oh. to pick up the wrong sheet. He's only shooting 47%. <laughs> what now? Wouldn't you know he made the first one? <laughs> Boy, I tell you what. I mean, he's he makes the second one. Looks good doing it. Wow. 33-26. Seven Bull points. Bulldogs with the basketball. In the front court. 33-26. Austin with the basketball. 2.49 to go here in the first half. Mitchell Taylor, right wing is Dominski for three. Yeah, off uh, the back of the rim, Cook had it, Rivers recovers it. Here comes Jacksonville, they want to run. Gives it to Robert, McCray, up the floor to Cook. Cook starts to drive, Cook across the floor to Giassi Powell. Cook has it stolen by Morrow, but Cook recovers it. Over right side to Cook. Cook starts to drive, lays it up off the rim, but drew the foul. Hold on so close, Bill. Yep. But you know, uh, it's the second team we played, and uh, in three days, that their guards are real aggressive. And you know, the Bulldogs seem like they have got to tighten up the defense on these guys. They get to the rack too often. If they don't score, they end up at the line. Cook at the free throw line for Jacksonville. First attempt is up and good. Boy, he looks good. Cook on the season for Jacksonville is a. 1,000% free throw shoot. <laughs> he hasn't missed. He's 10 of 10 right now with that last one. 11 of 11 on the wow. season. 36-26. 2.20 to go here in the first half. Caleb McCarty crossed the timeline. I'm sorry, 35-26. Simone Austin with the basketball. Right side to Mitchell Taylor. Taylor back over to Austin. Out front to Jabinski for three. That's off the front of the rim, rebounded by Austin. Austin back out front for the Bulldogs. Set up. Inside pass to Morrow. Morrow on the baseline in trouble. Back out front to Shimon Austin. Austin starts to drive. Right corner is Taylor. Taylor's good from 15. 35-28 now. Back to a seven-point lead. Another assist for Shimon Austin. He's playing a stellar game for Eric Martin's team tonight. Powell in the front court. Powell. In trouble, gets it over to Robert McCray. McCray on the left wing, goes across the floor, stolen by Wilson Dubinsky. Dubinsky tries to put up a shot, missed it, but recovered and put back up by James Morrow. How and just that? like that, the Bulldogs have fought back, and it's a five-point game with a minute 24 to go in the first half. Yeah, these last couple of minutes, South Carolina State has been very aggressive, and it's paid off. They've cut into this lead. And, you know, this is what Eric Martin's team is capable of doing, Indeed, Bill. Yeah. I mean, you are, you are a problem for Jacksonville. Jacksonville is supposed to be a good team. They're 6-3 and three coming in here with some good wins. But South Carolina State is right there. And I'll tell you what, if you go back, of course, we haven't got, got stats quite just yet. But, um, you know, a couple more free throws that we made, it would be like a two-point game. Two-point game, sir. Sure. Yeah. game. Yeah, we, we missed... Uh, I think we missed three. Yeah, two. Dave, Davion Evans missed two. And McCray missed one. 35 to 30, our score, minute 24 to go here in the first half. It'll be Jacksonville basketball. Robert McCray, Jossie Powell, Cook, Payne, and 33 is Big Donovan Rivers. Bulldogs playing with a lot more injury tonight than they did on Saturday. And I'm sure Eric Martin is pleased. 2-3 zone by the Bulldogs. Right wing now is Jossie Powell. Powell gets a pick, goes left side to Robert McCray. McCray starts to drive. McCray lost the handle. It's recovered by McCarty, but McCray got it back and somehow lays it up in. And Bulldogs had the turnover, lost it. Taylor up the floor to Dubinsky. It's a seven-point game. All the loose balls seem to fall into Jacksonville's hands. Across the floor to Teal. Back over to Dubinsky. Dubinsky. Inside to Drayton Jones. Give and go to McCarty for the slam. 
Caleb McCarty. Nice pass from Clayton Jones. It's a five-point lead. Excellent pass by Clayton Jones that time. Robert McCray guarded by Teal. McCray in trouble. He steps into the backcourt. Oh, my goodness, they got a foul on McCarty. I thought he stepped up. When he tried to go around him, he had to go in the backcourt bill before he got fouled. Yeah, he didn't foul him until he was coming back into the front court. The infraction court. occurred before the foul. They just didn't see it or didn't call it. Robert McCray will be at the free throw line. 37-32. Uh, Five-point Jacksonville lead. They had the double bonus, so instead of a one-and-one, one, he'll be getting two opportunities. Gray's first attempt is up. It rattles and rolls in. James Morrow will come in. Caleb McCarty will have a seat. He's got two fouls. McCarty's had a lot of energy here tonight. 38-32. McCray's second, second attempt is up. It's off the, gram, off the rim. Rebounded by Clayton Jones. Bulldogs can cut into this lead. Mitchell Taylor up the floor. 28 seconds to go in the first half. Taylor goes left side to Teal. Michael Teal with the basketball. Teal throws it away. It's intercepted by Powell. Teal up the floor to Rivers. Rivers moves inside. Rivers puts it up and in. Costly turnover by the Bulldogs. Ten seconds to go in the first half. We trail by eight. Got to make better passes, Ernest. Gotta Taylor make better starts pass. to drive. Back out front. He throws it away. Teal fighting for it. Recovers it. Will throw up a prayer. And he goes out of bounds, and that's the end of the first half. Our score, Jacksonville 40, South Carolina State 32. We'll have more Bulldog basketball after these messages. You're listening to WPJK ESPN Orangeburg. Hello, this is Stacy Huff, host of Hump Nation Sports Zone, Saturdays from 10 to 11 a.m. right here on 92.9 FM ESPN Orangeburg. I'll cover local, national, and worldwide sports topics and also take a look at the week that was and a look ahead at the week to come. I look forward to having you along for the ride each and every Saturday morning, 10 to 11 a.m. on Orangeburg's ESPN station, 92.9 FM. Hump Nation Sports Zone, a fun trip around the world of sports. You've been working hard, doing the right thing, and paying your taxes, and putting your hard-earned money in the Medicare piggy bank all your life. And now it's time to break the piggy bank and get something back. Medicare. If you didn't know it, Medicare is health insurance for people over 65. And you paid for it with your tax dollars. Medicare plans now have more benefits than ever. That's good news, especially if you're like me and looking forward to paying as little as possible for good health insurance. Call and find out what Medicare plan is best for you. Save your time. It's valuable. We've already done the research for you. And in one quick phone call, you can learn how to get the best Medicare plan designed exactly for you. Hey, it's one of the most important decisions in your life. Let us help you through it. Here's our number. Call 65 plus Medicare now at 800-880-3141. 800-880-3141. 800-880-3141. That's 800-880-3141. Hello, this is Stacy Huff, host of Hump Nation Sports Zone, Saturdays from 10 to 11 a.m. right here on 92.9 FM ESPN Orangeburg. I'll cover local, national, and worldwide sports topics and also take a look at the week that was and a look ahead at the week to come. I look forward to having you along for the ride each and every Saturday morning, 10 to 11 a.m. on Orangeburg's ESPN station, 92.9 FM. Hump Nation Sports Zone, a fun trip around the world of sports. Welcome back to the Smith Hammond Middleton Memorial Center on the campus of South Carolina State. It's halftime. Bulldogs trailing 40 to 32, Bill, but it was just a four-point lead a couple of minutes ago. Yep, two uh, turnovers there down the stretch, you know, off off, off terrible passes uh, resulted in them getting a the quick four points out of it. And that's why the turnovers, uh, well, it's nine, it was the ten. Uh, at halftime of uh, against Bethune Cook, but that's still too many turnovers. Looking at the point total in the first half of the Bulldogs, Caleb McCarty, nine points and five rebounds. That's a pretty good night so far. Yes. You know, you got Mitchell Taylor with six, Simon Austin with four, Michael Teal with a three, Wilson Dubinsky with two threes for six points. Uh, Jacksonville. Uh, Robert McCray's got 13. Marcus Niblock has got nine. And Jarius Cook has got nine. That's Their well, cars are just they, they something really, to deal with. Yeah. They are really 
the backbone of that team, man. Uh, those guards are really quick and they're aggressive. Second week in a row, the Bulldogs have out-rebounded the opponent in the first half, 18 to 15. Yep. And we got eight of them coming on the offensive end. So, but you look down at that point, points off turnovers, 14 for Jackson State, I mean Jacksonville State, and uh, just seven for the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs do have, they leading a second chance, points 10 to five, that's good. And the beach points are good, 11 to four, favoring the Eric Martin's team. And you said Jacksonville State. Now, you know this is just Jacksonville. Jacksonville, yeah. yeah Jacksonville State, I said Jackson Gamecocks. State. Yeah. Yeah. I always have them Jackson State Tigers on my mind ever since the MAC Challenge. Well, speaking of what else is going on as far as um, football is concerned, big, big to do tomorrow here in Orangeburg, Bill. Yes, indeed. Uh, Bulldogs going to present uh, their new uh, football coach, Tennis Berg, formerly the successful head coach at Benedict, and uh, uh, I'm anxious to see what he has to say. Let me and, tell you uh, something, Coach Berg, I don't know if you've ever had or heard him speak. Oh, yeah. But he is prolific. Yeah, he's been down here two years in a row to Touchdown Club. Did see him this year because we won the road at North Carolina Central, but last year he wowed the fans, and the president of the Touchdown Club, Rob Hibbers, was wild by him. He does a really good job. Yeah, Genesis is, is, is very good, and Genesis' effect on young people is just, uh, it's, it's a magnet. I mean, he is a guy who gets young folks' attention. And you know, Bill, in this day and age, you know, Genesis is not a young, young guy. Right. You know, he's younger than us. But from the standpoint of, at his age, which is, I think he's around 50 years old, he, is, he relates to young people like no other and really commands their attention. And I think when you're trying to follow a legend, you need someone who has that sort of, um, I'm, I'm not going to say charisma, it's not charisma, that sort of impact on young people. Yeah, he seems to have a really infectious personality, you know, and he handles himself quite well and always with a smile on his face. And, uh, you know, I'm expecting great things. Uh, alumni who have called me and asked about him, they all think he's a good high, and so do I. You know, you love to see gentlemen, young men, get an opportunity. And when they do things the right way their entire life, and you see them sort of move up. And, you know, he got an opportunity at Benedict. He made the most of it. And now he's stepping up to another level of football. And uh, the expectations, uh, I'm sure, are going to be uh, challenging. But the way he approaches things, I mean, I can't wait to go one and know. I tell you, he's, he's demonstrated by his success uh, at Benedict that he is an outstanding coach. You know, he has a reputation of being a good recruiter. And so all that have really come to play here at South Carolina State. And, uh, I think our fans would be happy to have someone like that to cheer for. We uh, certainly wish Coach Buddy P. well and glad to hear that he's going to stay around and he's going to be involved and engaged in some way. Well, you know Coach Pugh's going to be involved. I mean, for Coach Pugh, he's a life, lifetime South Carolina State Bulldog. Uh, yeah. always trying to have an influence on the program in a positive way. And Coach Pugh, above anybody else, knows that it takes more, I think, to go coaching football to be successful at South Carolina State. But he's going to make sure that hopefully Coach Barry won't have to do all those things that he had to do, he was forced to do, yeah. when he was coaching the team. Certainly, you know, I, I think this current administration we got in place uh, uh, really is, a, is, a, is good for South Carolina State. Uh, looking forward to uh, Nathan Cochran coming in in, a, uh, you know, another three weeks or so and uh, sitting down and talking with him. So uh, it's a good time around here at South Carolina State. We got some good things going, and uh, uh, we hope the fans and supporters of uh, be patient and come out and support. Can't wait to uh, meet Coach Barry. Well, not meet Coach Barry, see Coach Barry again. Of course, I met Coach Barry a few years ago when he first came to Benedict, but uh, I think he's going to do really well. I'm looking forward to it. We're going to take a time out here. It's halftime in Orangeburg. Our score, Jacksonville, 40. South Carolina State 32 Mobile Dog Basketball after these messages. Bulldog Nation is home to some of the most loyal fans in the nation. No one represents their team quite like you do. Do you ever wish your financial institution would treat you with the same kind of loyalty? Relax. 
Founders puts members first. Founders offers a diverse selection of financial tools and services designed to make your life easier. Get the five-star member service you deserve. Visit RelaxJoinFounders.com to apply for membership today. Founders is federally insured by the NCUA. Prisma Health has OBGYN locations across the Midlands and Upstate, providing advanced care for every stage of a woman's life. Whether it's the first gynecology visit, planning a family, or managing menopause, our compassionate OBGYN specialists are dedicated to helping women keep their busy lives in balance by staying healthy and strong. More expertise for women to help you be your healthiest you. Learn more about our services for women at prismahealth.org slash balance. The City of Orangeburg and the Department of Public Utilities are proud to partner with South Carolina State University Bulldogs. It takes hard work and dedication to be a winning team, and the Bulldogs are a great example of that spirit. Just like the Bulldogs, the City and DPU work hard to provide championship caliber services to the citizens we serve. We will continue to make use of that Bulldog tenacity to provide a quality of life that our community so richly deserves. You've put in the work for your education. The extra early, extra late, extra, extra work. That's because you understand education opens doors to better pay, better opportunities, and a better you. Being educated about playing the lottery is no different. It helps you be a better player, one who knows when to play and when to take a rain check. The lottery's a game, so let's keep it fun. Learn more at sceducationlottery.com slash better you. Welcome back to the Smith Hammond Middle School Memorial Center. The campus of South Carolina State. Ernest Robinson, Bill Hamilton here. South Carolina State basketball. Bill, you know when you think about Jacksonville, you think about Jacksonville basketball, and you know we were talking about Robert McCray. Robert McCray, of course, came from Columbia, South Carolina. A lot of people won't remember. You will remember. The first person that I remember <coughs> coming from Columbia, or South Carolina, to play for Jacksonville was the late Leon Bimbo. Back in the days, he eventually played in the NBA with the Chicago Bulls, but Leon Bimbo with Artis Gilmore. <laughs> and let me tell you something, Jacksonville was one of the best teams, one of the best two or three teams in the country. Yeah, I think, didn't they make the final four yeah. one year? Oh, yeah. Did, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Bimbo, yeah, he, he has quite a legacy uh, here in uh, South Carolina. Outstanding player. Went to Booker T. Washington High yeah. School, Columbia, which is ironically just a few miles where Booker T. was from A.C. Floor High School with Robert McCurry from yeah. high school. Yeah, Booker T. Washington, that's a school that had a great, great legacy. You know, I remember when I came to South Carolina State, you know, when they had all these great uh, teams. Booker T. Washington, one of them, of course, Wilkerson, uh, you know, he had Bonds, Wilson, and Burke, and Charleston, of of course, in Greenville, what was that, J.L. Man? What was it? Oh. No, it was before J.L. Man. Yes, before J.L. Man. Bryce, no, Bryson was in Greenwood. But they had some great teams, and, and Columbia was full of them. Of course, Liam Bimbo played for, I want to say he played for Ben Trapp. I can't remember, I can't remember who the guy was that coached. I think Ben Trapp may have been ben the in. I don't think he was coaching. I think it was... um. Oh, I think Ken, I mean, Carl Williams was over there. I know Coach Glimp was like an assistant over there at that time. Yeah. Um, but I, oh, I can't think of the guy's name. Uh, I want to say, not, not, I, I want to I say get low, but I don't mean get low. Yeah, I, I can't remember the coach's <laughs> name. Now, Potlo. 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 Yeah, he's going, well, I better not say that, though. <laughs> it, it hasn't been released yet. <laughs> yeah, don't mention, you know, you, you're bad about releasing. Yeah, Bill let it, let the cat out the thing. bag. Yep. Yeah, but Potlow, he was over there. He won, what, six state championships. I, I knew you. Yeah, and then also had a good run as a coach, head coach at Benedict. Got to take a quick break here. We'll come back before Bill Hamilton gives out more <laughs> secrets, which he's been known to do. Hold on, trailing Jacksonville by 840 to 32, second half right after this. Attention all car enthusiasts and South Carolina State Bulldog fans. I'm Andre Lewis, a 1982 graduate of South Carolina State University, and a sales and leasing associate with Big Diet Associates, Mr. East Business Model, where elegance meets innovation. Visit our showroom and experience the thrill of Mercedes Benz and Bobo Cars for a sandwich. And don't forget to grab your South Carolina State Bulldog gear so you can cheer them on with pride. 
Dick Dyer and Associates, and South Carolina State University Bulldogs. Together, we're shaping a winning future. It's a new day for health care in Bamberg, Calhoun, and Orangeburg counties. That's because MUSC Health, the top-ranked hospital in South Carolina, is elevating local care by improving current services and introducing new services and technology. Now there's no need to travel for superior care. MUSC Health, we're changing what's possible so you can stay close to home. Learn more at muschealth.org slash Orangeburg. Hello, I'm Harold Young, Orangeburg County Administrator. Myself and County Council would like to welcome you to South Carolina State University in Orangeburg County. South Carolina State games are like no other. They are important to the students, the alumni, and especially our community. For those coming back home, welcome to the new Orangeburg. And for those already here, let's continue to make it better. Congratulations to President Alexander Conyers and the South Carolina State University. So let's go Coach Q and leave Bulldogs. Let's get this win. And as always, it's a great day in Orangeburg County. Thank you. Bulldog Nation is home to some of the most loyal fans in the nation. No one represents their team quite like you do. Do you ever wish your financial institution would treat you with the same kind of loyalty? Relax. Founders puts members first. Founders offers a diverse selection of financial tools and services designed to make your life easier. Get the five-star member service you deserve. Visit RelaxJoinFounders.com to apply for membership today. Founders is federally insured by the NCUA. Welcome back to the Smith Hammond Milton Memorial Center. Bill Hamilton, what do the Bulldogs have to do to get back in this thing? Got to get off to a quick start here to start the second half. You know, on Saturday we talked about matching the energy of the opponents. We didn't do that to start that second half against Bethune Cookman. They built a 17 point lead and hung on, you know. South Carolina State, eight points behind. Now uh, that's really nothing, but he got to get off to a quick start, and we got to get some stops. I just think too many suck, too many uh, opportunities down there for uh, those golfers. They are really they punishing us inside with a guard play. Bulldogs going to start with Davion Everett, Drayton Jones, and Caleb McCarty up front. It's the back coach Jamon Austin Mitchell Taylor. For Jacksonville, it's McCray, Knight Black, Cook, Payne, and Donovan Rivers. Bulldogs have the basketball. Davion Everett will inbound. Everett, uh, leading score and rebounded. No points in the first half. Did get two early fouls, but he's got to come around. He's, he's got to help put this team on his shoulder. Davion will inbound into the backcourt to Mitchell Taylor. We'll go from left to right. The Bulldogs will in the second half. Man-to-man -man defense by Jacksonville. Taylor gets a pick from Shimon Austin. Picks up his dribble. Top of the key to Austin. Austin starts to drive. Lays up off the rim. Nicely done. Shimon Austin with the bucket. And the Bulldogs off to a quick start. Trailing by six now. 40 to 34. Good start. Good aggressive move there by Shimon Austin. It's six one of Matty also has three assists. McCray brought it across the timeline. Hands over to nine black. He'll give over to Cook. Cook dribbles out front, gives it to Rivers. Rivers into the left corner. Knife like thought about a three. Now starts to drive behind the back dribble. Baseline jumper, 14 footers. Good. Nice shot from Marcus wow. Knife like. Excellent move that was the behind the back dribble to, to get free and he nailed it. Eight point Bulldog trail, 42 34. Drayton Jones on the right elbow, looking inside, and there's going to be a foul inside. I think this is going to be on Marcus Knife like. Bulldogs inbound from under own basket. Yossi Powell will come in. And Knight Black will sit down. That is third foul? Is this yep. third? It is his third. Mitchell Taylor will inbound from under the Bulldog basket on the right baseline to Drayton Jones. He's double teamed. Back over to Taylor on the baseline. Inside to McCarty. Back over to Davion Everett. Everett 15 footer off the glass. Rebound to Mark McCarty. Back over to Everett. Everett starts to drive. Pass right side to Taylor. Back left side to Austin. Austin slips. Gets it to Taylor driving. Taylor lays it up off the glass. Got his own rebound. Turns, puts it up. It's not in. Rebounded by Clayton Jones. There's a foul. Boy. So the Bulldogs had an opportunity to make two, but there we had three good looks at the hoop. At the basket and just couldn't get it to fall, you know. But I like the hustle and being aggressive inside. Though. We got to get these shots. Bulldogs will inbound from under their own basket. Mitchell Taylor just left of the backboard. 
Taylor having a problem gets it into Caleb McCarney. McCarney nearly travel. Bounce pass to Davion Everett. Everett lays it up and in. Davion Everett gets his first bucket in the game. Boy, did you see what McCarty threw that pass? Bounce from? pass. How about that? Long bounce pass. Yes, indeed. 42-36 now. Austin guarding McCray. Making McCray use that left hand. McCray stops. Fade away from 15, from 20, from 20. Ball goes out of bounds. They're going to call a late foul. Who they call the foul on? They call the foul on the shot. Oh, no. It's a foul on Jacksonville. Yeah, number 33. That's on Donovan Rivers. Yep. 42-36 to lead is 6-18-24 to go in the game. Payne coming in. Rivers is going to have to sit down with three. Yes, indeed. He's the second Dolphin in foul trouble. Well, they got him listed as two up. Let me see. Taylor will walk it up for the Bulldogs. No pressure in the backcourt. Greeted by Robert McCray at half court. Taylor. Taylor handling the basketball. Goes left side to Austin. Austin across the floor. And going to be an offensive foul called on Drayton Jones trying to post up inside. Wow. He had a mouse in the house and could not take advantage, Bill. Yeah, we didn't need that. Yeah. Had a chance to cut that lead down to four. And uh, turnover off that because of the foul. Payne will inbound. Bulldogs full court pressure. They get it to Robert McCray. McCray will walk it up. 18 minutes to go in the game. We trail by six. Robert McCray guarded by Mitchell Taylor right in front of me. Handling the basketball. McCray keeping the dribble alive. Drayton Jones rides it down to the left side. Cook has it poked away, but it goes out of bounds. Nice job by Drayton Jones to poke yep. it out. But it goes out of bounds. It'll be Jacksonville basketball on the left baseline. Good hand in there by uh, Drayton Jones. McCray inbounds. No look to Powell. Powell starts to drive, lays it up. It's blocked by Drayton Jones. What an incredible block by Jones. Austin with the carom. Austin up the floor for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs together to a four-point game. Right wing is Mitchell Taylor. Taylor, top of the key dribble. Man-to-man -man defense by Jacksonville. Taylor in trouble. Left wing is Austin. Austin dribbles right side, stops. Fade away from 17. It's off the back of the rim. Davion Everett had it. Pulls down the rebound. Over to Taylor. Taylor kick out to Austin for three. Off the rim. Rebounded by Payne of Jacksonville. Boy, two good looks there by Austin. Just couldn't get him to fall. Jossie Powell will walk it up for Jacksonville. Powell hawked over there by Everett. Left wing is Cook. Cook's been quiet since the start of the game. Payne lobs inside the river to... Uh, the shot blocked by Drayton Jones, recovered by Caleb McCarty. McCarty puts up the floater. Missed the shot, rebounded by Cook. Boy, uh, Bulldogs, two opportunities come up empty. Yeah, we're just so close. Powell, Jossie is off the rim. Put back up and in. No foul. Payne put it up and in. Thought Payne got fouled. Payne got inside position there. Was just able to dip it up. 44-36 now. Back to an eight-point lead. 16 and a half to go here in the ballgame. Woodall's got to do a better job in blocking out. Taylor right side to Shimon Austin. Inside pass to Taylor. Nothing he could do with it. He lost the handle. Payne came up with it. Gives it over to Robert McCray. No look to Cook. Cook for three. It's good. What? And just like that, there's a timeout on the floor. 16-14 to go here in the ballgame. Our score, Jacksonville 47, South Carolina State 36. More Bulldog basketball after these messages. Attention, this is a public notice from the Social Security Disability Helpline. If you're one of the millions of Americans who are disabled and unable to work, you may be eligible for disability benefits from Social Security. Receiving benefits is your right. If you suffer from physical or mental disability, whether you're applying for the first time or you've already been denied, we can help. We'll evaluate your situation and deal with Social Security on your behalf. Best of all, there's no fee until you receive your benefits. Remember, we only get paid if you win your case. There are many reasons and conditions that may make you eligible for disability benefits. Many of them you may not be aware of. So if you're disabled and unable to work, call now to get started with your free no-obligation consultation. 800-797-0711. 800-797-0711. 800-797-0711. That's 800-797-0711. Welcome back.
Franklin Smith, Hannah Middleton Memorial Center. It was a four-point game just a minute ago, and now it's back up to 11, Bill. Yes. Two turnovers, a not blocking out down there, and all of a sudden, you know, seven straight points uh, by the Dolphins. And like you said, they're up by 11, matching their biggest lead of the night. Eric Martin goes to his bench. Michael Teal's back in. Atiba Taylor, James Morrow, Wilson Dubinsky, and Raekwon Brown. Try to get some firepower in. Coming into the game for the first time for Jacksonville is number two. That's Josiah Sabino, a Richard freshman from Jacksonville's Orange Park High School. Oh, and his go. first action tonight. Yeah. So James Morrow's going to inbound. Michael Teal's going to walk it up. He'll be greeted by Robert McCray. Teal across the timeline. Dribbles left side. Teal. Nate. Robert McCray backing him outside. Gets to the top of the key to Raekwon. Raekwon guarded by Cook. Hands over to Dubinsky. Dubinsky. Back over to Teal. Teal starts the drive. Can't go by Cook. Tries to. Throws it up. And in. What a drive by Michael Teal. Wow. Teal thought he should have gotten fouled. Yeah, he was looking for the and one. I was too. 47 <laughs> 38. I was trying to get the and first, Bill. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe he made that shot. I tell you. McCray. He looked a little out of control, Ernest. Right side is Sabino. Sabino starts to drive. Sabino. Oh, no. Got to get Raekwon Brown on the block. Teal goes, oh, no. I thought it was a charge. Charge, yeah. And the official called it a block instead. Now we got the under 16 turnout. Turnover, I mean, timeout. <laughs> <laughs> I just leave you out there hanging. The under 16. 5, 15, 32 to go here. In the ball game, our score. South Carolina State 47, I mean, Jacksonville 47, South Carolina State 38. Bulldogs playing much better tonight, Bill, but we've got to come out back out of this timeout with that same energy we had to begin the second half. Indeed, indeed. And the Lady Bulldogs are on the road. I don't think they're going to, are they going to play any more in Orangeburg before the new year? Uh, no, their next home game will be January 6th. And it'll be about time for conference play to start. Yep. That will be conference play. 15.32 to go here tonight. Bulldogs trailing 47-38. South Carolina State had not lost at home until this past weekend when they lost to the Bethune. Yeah, they were 2-1 and one up until that time. Uh, January the 6th, that's our first conference competition, North State, our men and women. Wow. And, of course, we told you Norfolk State upset Illinois State this past weekend at Illinois State. Yeah, they played a stellar game, and Illinois State fans did show up so much love, you know. Well, some more, lots more going to be said about that situation because the Illinois State coach was the most hospitable guy. Yeah, he did. And You're Robert right. Jones says he's going to defend his players. Indeed, he did. So Sabino's going to be at the free throw line. Sabino... Seen his first action, got a bucket, an opportunity for a three-point play. Sabino on the season bill doesn't play a lot. Averages about five points, well, three points a game. Two points a game, three rebounds a game. Makes the first free throw. Sabino gets it. 48-38, lead back to 10. Sabino's second attempt is up. It's off the rim. Rebounded by Raquan Brown. He'll give over to Michael Teal in the backcourt. He'll walk it up. We're down 10. Robert McCray guarding the ball. Michael Teal has it. Goes right by him. Teal does. Teal lays it up. And in. And through the foul. Teal with the drive. This time, he'll go to the free throw line. Yes. The second straight penetration of by Teal has led to... Two baskets. Maybe the Bulldogs need to do more of that. I think Robert McCray was surprised with the quickness of Teal, the way he went around it. I tell you. And then Teal can fly, Bill. He I can, tell you. He can get up. Yeah, he's got great quickness. And plus, like you say, he's a real leaper. He's looked good these last couple of minutes for the Bulldogs getting inside for layups. So, so Teal completes the three-point play. We're back to a seven-point game, 48-31. 48-41. Sabino will try to inbound. Does so to Giassi Powell. He'll give over to Robert McCray, and Robert will wave everybody off. McCray dribbles towards the left wing, keeping the dribble alive. 
Goes by Morrow. McCray puts it off the glass. Missed the shot. Tapped up and in by Payne. Boy, Payne has been a real power in there for the Dolphins. Payne's been a pain. Yeah, for a definite pain in this second half. 50 to 41. Now it's a nine-point lead under 15 minutes to go. Atiba Taylor into the right corner to, uh, to uh, Davion Everett. I go over to Teal. Right wing is Dubinsky. Davion Everett, 15-footer. He's off the front of the rim. Rebounded by James Morrow. And Morrow was fouled by Payne. Yes. So coming back into the game for the Bulldogs, Caleb McCarty, James Morrow will get a break. Back in for Jacksonville will be Pruitt. He will replace Donovan Rivers. So the Bulldogs will inbound from under the Bulldog basket. Michael Teal will do the honors. Teal has been knocked away by Sabino. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Jossie Powell. Bulldogs having a problem getting the ball in bounds, Bill. I, and I was at the shoot around on Saturday, and they, they were practicing, uh, you know, throwing the ball in. McCarty. Like, gets that pressure. Got it from Dubinsky. Akiva Taylor out front goes right side to Davion Everett. Come in, offensive foul on Akiva Taylor trying to get trying to get open. Wow. So it's a nine-point Jacksonville lead. 14.30 to go here in the ballgame. Got to stay close, uh, guys. Got to stay close. Two it inbounds to Giassi Powell in the backcourt. Powell across the timeline. Into the front court, dribbles right side, hands over to Robert McCray. McCray's been quiet. McCray starts to drive, lost the handle, recovered by Powell, Powell for three. It's good, Yassi well, Powell. Everything they do is they grab a loose ball and throw up a three, my goodness. 53-41, their largest lead now, 12, Bill. Yep. Teal, left wing is the Tifa Taylor. Got to get some consistency on offense. Teal, Dubinsky for three. Off the front of the rim, rebounded by Tifa Taylor. Atiba Taylor drives, puts up the shot. Good. Atiba Taylor. Left mood inside. Yep. Back to a 10 point game. Robert McCray up the floor. McCray drives. McCray lays it in. It's no good. Rebounded by Rip. You drive by Pruitt. Pruitt over to McCray. McCray stepped out of bounds. Oh, no. No. They caught it on Dewan Pruitt. Yeah, he. Set a, set a move and pick that time. So Dubinsky will sit down for South Carolina State. Coming into the game will be Mitchell Taylor. Donovan Rivers will come back in, and Pruitt will sit down. 53-43 is a 10-point lead for the Dolphins. Teague inbounds to Mitchell Taylor. Taylor will walk it across the timeline. Right wing is Caleb McCarty. Right side is Atiba Taylor. Right corner, Teague for three. It's good. Michael Teague. Seven points this half. Uh, eight points this half. Yes. He's, he's, he's really carrying the team. 53-46 is a seven-point game. Jossie Powell gets it up the floor to Payne. Jacksonville in trouble wants a timeout. Yep, they had Payne double team over there. 53-46 with 13 minutes to go here. Bulldogs right there, trailing by seven. We'll take a timeout. We'll have more Bulldog basketball. No, we won't. It's a 30-second timeout, so we'll stay here. Yeah, you know, Teal is really, uh, Michael Teal has been outstanding uh, this half. He scored eight points for South Carolina State to start this second half. We need more of that. But there, we need all eight. Yeah, we need we need a lot more from some of his teammates. 53-46 of score. Bulldogs scrapping for every point they can get. We've got Davion Everett, Atiba Taylor, Mitchell Taylor, Michael Teal, and Caleb McCarty. Yeah, those Jacksonville is still over 50% shooting from the field. 51.5 Bulldogs are just 41.5%. They got to get that up. For Jacksonville, Donovan Rivers, Jossie Powell, Marcus Cook, and 
Marcus Kneeblock. Kneeblock. Inbounds to Giassi Powell. Powell guarded by Michael Teal. Powell nearly lost the handle. Keeps the dribble alive. Powell. Back over to Nye Block. Nye Block off the front of the rim. Got Take a, a foul on Cook over the back on Tika Taylor. 53-46 now. Bulldogs getting cut into this lead, Bill. Yeah, we're a three would make it a four-point game. Yeah, well, you know, you got almost 13 minutes left, and we're in the bonus, but we got to make the free throws. Got to make the free throws. Got to make the free throws. At the free throw line to Tiba Taylor. Good way to get back. To without the clock without moving. Without the clock moving, indeed. Taylor's first attempt is looking good. Atiba Taylor on the season, Bill, had missed a free throw. I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> wow. Well, eight for eight so far. He looks good. <laughs> Misses the shot. Rebounded by Davion Everett. Back. Taylor, Mitchell Taylor, missed the layup. Tapped up and in by Davion Everett. All right. Everett, uh, 53-49 now. It's a four-point game with 12 and a half to go. Good run here by the Bulldogs. Let's see if they can keep it up. Nye Black throws the cross court to Cook in the back court. Cook getting up the floor. Cook has a nearly stolen. Gets it over to Jossie Powell. Bulldogs playing good defense. Yo. Powell starts to drive. Keeps the dribble alive. Powell between the legs dribble. Left side is Cook for three. Long three-pointer is good. Marcus Cook. It's second in a row. Boy, he is a good-looking shooter. 56-49 now. Back to a seven-point lead. Over to Caleb McCarty on the baseline. Across the floor to Taylor. Out front to Teal. Teal starts to drive. Back up to Tebow Taylor. Tebow Taylor starts to drive. Tebow Taylor lays it up. And he in with that left hand. Boy, he is crafty with that Boy. left hand. Yeah. He reminds me of the guy who used to play for um, Kentucky a few years ago. I can't think of his name. Oh, my goodness. Powell in the backcourt. They played in the NBA. Was name last name Prince? I can't remember his name. Oh yeah, yeah, his name was Prince. Baseline to Donovan Rivers, 56-51. Still a five-point game, 11 and a half to go. Uh, we need to stop him. Wow, has it nearly stolen by Davion Everett. Everett gets tagged with the foul. Ah, uh, great defense, I thought. Devin. The timeout on the floor with 11:24 to go here in the ball game. Our score. Uh, Jacksonville 56, South Carolina State 51. More Bulldog basketball after these messages. Staying healthy is easier when it's convenient. That's why Prisma Health provides easy access to primary care close to where you need it most. With nearly 600 doctors across the Midlands and Upstate, we offer same day and next day appointments to fit your busy schedule or virtual visits when you can't make it to our office. More access to exceptional care to help you be your healthiest you. Find a doctor today at prismahealth.org slash healthy. The City of Orangeburg and the Department of Public Utilities are proud to partner with South Carolina State University Bulldogs. It takes hard work and dedication to be a winning team, and the Bulldogs are a great example of that spirit. Just like the Bulldogs, the City and DPU work hard to provide championship caliber services to the citizens we serve. We will continue to make use of that bulldog tenacity to provide a quality of life that our community so richly deserves. Orangeburg, South Carolina, and this is Robinson, Bill Hamilton on the um, WPJK ESPN Orangeburg. I was so quick to say the Bulldog football radio network, but it's basketball. And Bill, the guy I was thinking about who Atiba Taylor reminds me of is Tayshawn Prince. Tayshawn Prince, I remember him. Left-handed guy. Left-handed, yeah. Had all kinds of acrobatic moves inside. Because Tayshawn Prince was 6'9". He was. But Atiba Taylor built like him, just not maybe about 6'3". So it'll be Jacksonville basketball, trailing, leading by five. 56-51, 11-24 to go. Marcus Knight Black to inbound. Lobs at the paint. Payne's going to have to run it down. He'll hand over to Cook. <laughs> Cook starts to drive on Taylor. Hands off to Robert McCray. McCray's been quiet here in the second half. Splits the double team. Left corner. Cook for three. Too long. 
pass knocked out of bounds. It's going to be a foul, or either is it going to be out of bounds? Uh, out of bounds to South Carolina State. Yep. Bulldogs got a chance to get even closer. 11.09 to go. We drove by five. Shimon Austin will walk it up. 56-51, 11 minutes to go. Austin, guarded right by Robert McCray. Switches now. Austin goes the other side to Atiba Taylor. Gets a pick. Atiba Taylor. Taylor starts to drive. Left-handed shot put up off the backboard. And they're going to... They're going to call it a shooting foul? Uh, let's see. Atiba Taylor threw it up. Yeah, it's going to be a shooting foul. Very good. He's one of two his last top so he's got a chance to bring the Bulldogs even closer. Marcus Nyblack will sit down. Yes, it's fourth. It's fourth. A Tiba Taylor at the free throw line. He needs both of these. He went only one or two his last trip. Taylor can make it a three-point game. <sighs> Taylor's first attempt doesn't even touch the rim. Just the bottom of the net. 56-52 now. Taylor can make it a three-point game with 10-53 to go. And I think the pressure shifts to Jacksonville. The Bulldogs have made a really good comeback after trailing by minutes 12. Atiba Taylor's next attempt is up and good. It's a three-point game under 11 minutes to go. Cook inbounds. Gets over to Giassi Powell. Full-court pressure by the Bulldogs. Powell. In the backcourt. Has it nearly stolen, got it over to Cook. Payne has it. Payne. Caught it by Drayton Jones, goes out of bounds. Last touch by Drayton Jones, but Drayton Jones, great defense back there because they had a two-on-one break. They did, and he got in there and uh, blew it up. Robert McCray will inbound from under the Dolphin basket. McCray, bounce pass to Payne. Back over to McCray. And they're going to call James Morrow. Morrow tried to draw the charge. Michael Teal's going to come back in. He's going to replace Atiba Taylor. Only the sixth foul on the Bulldogs, so they're not in the bonus yet. Well, Pruitt comes in. Payne fits down. McCray to inbound. 56-53 is our score. 10-39 to go in the game. McCray under the Dolphin basket. McCray having a problem. Gets it over to Jesse Powell. Shoot the three. And there's going to be a foul. Oh, man. They're going to call the foul on James Morrow. Oh. Players getting a little antsy out there. The officials that we're going to look at. It. Yeah. I didn't see the players, Bill. I didn't on. either. No I know he jumped up. Say. He, he got a good fake, and he ended up falling into the Jacksonville, Jacksonville bench. bench. Yeah. But I didn't see what happened. And I didn't see any players, like, you know, nope. upset about it. Jacksonville's players were just got out of the way. Yeah. 56-53 on score. 10-38 to go here in the basketball game. And they're going to take a look at this. Ernest Robinson, Bill Hamilton, glad to have you with us. From WPJK ESP in Orangeburg. And we thought the South Carolina State Bulldogs could play better, Bill, and they've answered the call. Yes, indeed. Fell down by 12, and we 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 bounced back. We bounced back to with 10-3. 10 10:38 to go. That foul is going to be on James Morrow, Bill. That's yep. going to be his third personal foul. Yeah, I see that. Just put it up there. So, so he's he got to be. He's played a really good game. He's the first bulldog with foul trouble. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Davion Everett's got three. Yeah, he he had two in the first half. You know. He, he sat most of that, but he's he's had a good start in the second half. I didn't realize that Tiba Taylor had three. Yeah, I didn't either. He must have picked up two early in the ball game because I don't remember him fouling late. So we're waiting for the officials to blow play back in to Nick. Yeah. This is not a timeout. This is like an official, official timeout. Official review, yeah. Okay, he's telling the coach. Just a regular foul. Yep. So Wilson, Dubinsky, Shimon Austin, Drake Jones. We are taking a look at any of the extracurricular, like a common foul on 11 for running through the screen. Right. Nothing extra at all on the okay. sideline. Okay, okay, cool. Okay. Thank you. Good Thank job. Thank you. Tells the official coming over telling us what was going on, so just a common foul on the sideline. 
I, 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 both yeah, we didn't was, see anything that looked flavoring at all. But create an inbound. Does so give me the pain for a slam. My goodness. What a pass. All right, that was Pruitt. Pruitt and Payne going to remind me. You're not other. supposed to let that happen, Ernest. No, not on the inbound. Not on the inbounds play. Five-point lead, 58-53 now. Bulldogs, critical possession here. Teal starts to drive. Teal keeps the dribble alive. Teal reverses field. Oh, nearly traveled. Got it over to Austin. Austin back out front to Teal. Five seconds, Teal will show up shot. It's good! And it's down to two, Ernest. Michael Teal with the three is a two-point game with ten minutes to go. Mark McCray with the basketball in the front court. McCray starts to drive. His shot is blocked by Austin from behind. They call a foul. Ah. Boy, that was a late foul call. It was. I, I just thought... That looked like a good, clean block. He got him from behind. He did get him from behind, but yeah. I didn't think he touched him. McCray never saw him. Uh, yeah, he did. Uh, I just didn't see a foul there, but Teal's going to have to come out. 58-56 now. McCray at the free throw line. First attempt is up. It's short. Oh, no, it rattles and rolls. Billy looks short. He's got the, it was short, but he got the Oscar Robinson bounce, as it, they say. Goodness. 59-56 now. Every, they've gotten every break of this game. Something good has got to happen for the Bulldogs soon. McCray, second attempt is up. It rattles. It doesn't go in. Davion Everett pulls it down, and here we come. Mitchell Taylor across the timeline. Looks like a zone defense by... They have gone to zone. Two, three zones. Two, three zones, Mitchell yeah. Mitchell Taylor with the basketball on the left wing. I thought they were very, Teal. Neal. very effective uh, on that, that aggressive man-to-man. -man. Teal over to Taylor. Inside of Davey. I never got to shoot this, that, that shot. Ever put up the shot. It's off the glass. Rebounded by Drayton Jones. Jones lays it up and in. But Drayton the left Jones. Hand. Good rebound, good stick back by Drake Jones. He and Bring Davion the, Everett working the boards. Yeah. Bring the board on to a 10-1. McCray starts to drive, puts it up. It's no good. It's recovered and put back up. And missing the shot was Donovan Rivers. McCray went down. But, boy, you can see when McCray wants a basket, Bill, he will take matters in his own hands. Yeah, he's quick and he's crafty in there, too. You know, he can use both. Both hands. It's a one-point game, 59-58 with 9-10 to go. Donovan Rivers is at the free throw line. And you know I'm going to look. <laughs> is it percentage? Oh, he got the first good. one. I'm not going to even say anything. <laughs> he missed the first one. I'm not going to say a word. Okay, well, neither am I, but I'm glad he missed the first one. I'll be glad if he misses the second one. 59-58 now. We're not shy about who we're pulling for. <laughs> River's second attempt is up. It rattles and goes in. My goodness. <laughs> Folks, they hit the back of the rim and way up in the air. And, and stop that point. They've gotten a lot of breaks on that free throw line tonight. 60-58 to 58 now. It's a two-point game. 9-08 to go here in the ballgame. Bulldogs can tie or go ahead with a three here. Mitchell Taylor wants it across the timeline. Started by Robert McCray. Taylor dribbles toward the right side, keeping the dribble alive. Back top of the key is Atiba. Atiba, hesitation move, stops. Left-handed off the rim. Rebounded by Drayton Jones. Jones and Payne fighting for it. The referees are blowing the whistle like the guys are going at it. Yeah, they're he, just holding on to the basketball. It, it was, uh, yeah, the possession uh, arrow points to the board, though. Yeah, good aggressive play. No, no it's, Jacksonville. it's Jacksonville. My 60 to 58 is a two-point game. 8.51 to go. Well, we got a good look that time. Through it inbounds to Jossie Powell. Powell in the backcourt gets it over to McCray. McCray back over to Powell. Powell up the floor to Sembino. McCray handling the basketball for Jacksonville. McCray out front, keeping the dribble alive. Lobs it inside. It's recovered by the Bulldogs. Dubinsky. Wilson Dubinsky up before Mitchell Taylor. Three on two break. Taylor lays it up and in. Mitchell Taylor. We're tied, Bill. At 8.20 to go, we're tied at 60. Good acrobatic move there by Mitchell Taylor to get inside for that easy basket. And now we got a ball game, as they say. Sabino gets it over to Robert McCray. 8.05 to go in the ball game. We're tied. Sabino in trouble out front. Guard about Tiba Taylor. Sabino lobs it inside to Pruitt. Pruitt tries to push inside. Boy, he's just pushing Drayton Jones. Can't go anywhere. Throws it away into the crowd. Great defense by Drayton Jones. 
Yep. What a job by Drayton Jones inside. And that got uh, Jordan Mincy, the head coach, over there up, off the bench with a timeout. They're in trouble. 7.55 yep. to go here I, I, in Orangeburg. The momentum is that the Bulldogs got the momentum. We hope we, they can keep it up. And, and, and break this seven-game losing streak. Let me tell you something, Bill. You can only wish that kids were in school right now and could be had a crowd in here. This would be something oh, for Jacksonville. That, oh, that would. I was talking to Sal Alexander on the Saturday night. He was in town with HBCU uh, Go TV production during the class and Boys State game. And we talked about some of those heydays when this place was packed, you know, was, well, you know, it's going to be that way again. I hope but so. You, but you get the kids back in school. Yeah. That helps an awful lot. You got the band. You got loud. You know. Yeah, you get a lot of noise in here. And, of course, we got a respectable crowd. Folks, it's free if you're out and driving about around Orange. Yeah. Want them to do, come on by. And 60 to 60. Yeah. 7.55 to go. A lot of good basketball yeah. left to be played. And South Carolina State plays next at home on the... Uh, December 22nd, and that game is free as well. So folks want to see some free basketball. December is free time for South Carolina State basketball. Now, Robert McCray, did he have 14, 10 points at the end of the first half, 10 or 12 at the end of the first half? Because uh, he's only got 14 for the game. He had 13. So he don't score one oh, point. Oh, yeah, right he, he was one or, one or two from the free throw line. So he's only got one point. 60 to 60, our score. Bulldog basketball. Caleb McCarty, Mitchell Taylor, Robert Morrow, Atiba Taylor, and Wilson Dubinsky. McCarty will inbound into the backcourt to Mitchell Taylor. Taylor won't be greeted by Robert McCray. Across the timeline, Bulldogs can take the lead. Dubinsky with the basketball. Wilson. Top of the key, Atiba Taylor, guarded by Cook. Atiba Taylor, right side to Mitchell Taylor. Taylor, top of the key, Dubinsky for the lead. It's off the front of the rim. And goes in, tapped in by Pruitt of Jacksonville. Yeah. It went into the basket. Yeah, he he was sliding at the rebound and it went in. Jacksonville behind, 62 to 60. McCray, Jacksonville looks frantic. 7.15 to go in the game. Robert McCray. McCray, starting to drive. Inside pass to Pruitt, slays it out, and in. What? Pruitt with the slam. What a pass from Robert McCray to tie the game. Oh, he is so crafted at McCray, man. Uh, but he's got that ball in his hand. You, you got to play good defense. 62-62, Wilson Dubinsky with the basketballs. Under seven minutes to go. Dubinsky guarded by Powell. Top of the key to Mitchell Taylor. Taylor starts to drive, has it knocked away, goes out of bounds. Last touch by Jacksonville. Simon Austin to come back in the game for the Bulldogs. Austin, Austin has had a nice break. Uh, Wilson Dubinsky will come out. Yeah, Simon Austin, a nice break there. But he's been a spot plug for South Carolina State. Taylor game. will inbounds. Inbounds to James Morrow. Double team. Morrow starts to drive. Slams it down. James Morrow with the drive. Uh, throws up his hands. 64-62. Six it. and a half to go here in the ball game. Bulldogs lead by two. Pruitt in the front court. Pruitt starts to drive. Drives right past it. Morrow tried to draw the charge. Pruitt lays it up and in. We're tied at 64. Yeah. Mar I mean, the Pruitt sidestep the charge of attempt there. Taylor in the front court for South Carolina State. It's stolen by McCray. McCray starts to drive. Slams it down. 66-64. Two wow. points. Jacksonville lead. No five to go. Four-point swing, that Bulldogs with an opportunity. Atiba Taylor with the basketball. We trail by two. James Morrow thought about the three. Gets it over to Mitchell Taylor. Taylor, 15-footer. It's good. Mitchell Taylor ties the game at 66. 5.50 to go in the game. Well, full-court pressure by the Bulldogs. Now they drop off. Powell will walk it across the timeline. 5.40 to go. We're tied at 66. Powell with the basketball. Dribbles toward the left side. Nothing over there, keeping the dribble alive. Powell going back toward the top of the key. Guarded right by Austin. Top of the key now is Payne. Throws it inside, intercepted by Caleb McCarty. Foul inside on Pruitt yeah. with the push of McCarty. Push off, yep. And the fish was right there. He got him. Bulldogs, you're going to the line to take the lead here with 
5.29 to go in the game. We're tied at 66. The shooting foul. So the Bulldogs go to the free throw line to shoot two. 66-66, 529 to go in the game. Nope, it'll be the Bulldogs. Oh, it's an offensive foul. Yeah, an offensive foul. Atiba Taylor will inbound in the backcourt to Michael Teal. Teal across the timeline, guarded by Robert McCray. Teal to the right side. Teal keeps his dribble alive. Left side is Atiba Taylor. Atiba guarded by Cook. Atiba starts to drive, stops. Spins baseline pass to Morrow. Morrow tried to put up the shot, drew the foul. So Morrow can give the Bulldogs the lead at the free throw line with 5-10 to go in the ballgame. Good penetration there by Atiba Taylor and dropped it off to Morrow. And for he got fouled, an opportunity to give his team the lead again. James Morrow for South Carolina State, a 6'8 freshman from Jacksonville. First attempt is up and good. Rattles and rolls in. Yes, sir. We, can, we got the friendly roll for a change. 67-66. Morrow's second attempt. is up and good. Hold on to the two-point lead with 5-10 to go. Get a stop here now. We need a stop. McCray inbounds to Cook. Cook wants to get it back to McCray. Cook. Gets it over to Powell. Powell in the backcourt. Hawk by Michael Teal. Michael Teal on Powell as he gets it across the timeline. Gets over to McCray. McCray guarded by Shimon Austin. Yeah. Under five minutes to go. And the Bulldogs lead by two. McCray. Man to man defense gets a pick. Dribbles left side. Left baseline is Powell. Inside pass. Payne lost the handle. Recovers it under the basket. Tried to throw it off Drayton Jones. Atiba Taylor comes away with it. Out to Michael Teal. Teal slams it down. How he didn't get fouled, I have no idea. But it counts anyway. Yeah. Bulldogs lead is 4 70 66. And we got a timeout by Jacksonville with 427 to go. Bulldogs lead. 70 to 66. Boy, that bench has come alive over there. Michael like, Teal, Bill, is I only about 5'11. Boy, but he's played a stellar game here, man. He has about 15 points. 427 to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll have more Bulldog basketball after these messages. Do you have Medicare and do you use a CPAP machine? This is a national health care alert regarding your CPAP supplies. Using a clean CPAP mask and clean supplies is important to staying healthy. The best way to make sure your CPAP equipment is clean is to get new supplies. If you have Medicare, we have great news. Medicare will pay for you to have new clean supplies every 90 days. We'll even do all the paperwork for you to make sure that there's little to no out-of-pocket cost to you. And you don't even have to leave your home. We provide free in-home delivery. So if you're a CPAP user and you have Medicare, staying healthy with new CPAP equipment is easy. Just make this free phone call right now to get started. Sponsored by Specialty Medical. 800-233-4295. 800-233-4295. 800 That's 800-233-4295. Welcome back to Orangeburg, South Carolina. Ernest Robinson, Bill Hamilton, 70 to 66 on score. Bulldogs with a four-point lead, Bill, with 4:27 to go here. What an effort I by Eric Martin's team. It's, it's been a tremendous effort in the second half to get back in this game and take the lead. And I know it's. Uh, er I, did you see that Bulldog bench erupt? You know when Steel put the ball in, and now we got to do like Coach Martin said, finish the game. We've had so many opportunities to finish games. We have not closed the deal. Drayton Jones, Shimon Austin, James Morrow, Michael Teal, and Atiba Taylor for the Bulldogs. Robert McCray, Marcus Nightblack, Payne, Rivers, and Cook for South Carolina State. Nightblack with the basketball. Nightblack hawked by Teal. Nightblack trying to back Teal down. Nightblack trying to get a pick. And Drake Jones gets called with the foul. Way off foul. there. That's, that, and, and you put him at the line. That's not a good foul, Ernest. That's not a good foul. I understand what Drake Jones is trying to do, but I, I agree yeah. with you, Bill. Yeah, that's too far. The big man, you know. 
Mark, uh, and just like that, McCarty's going to come into the game for James Morrow. Drayton Jones will stay in. 70 to 66. Nye Black will beat the free throw line. 4.18 to go. They can score points without the clock moving. Yep, one and one opportunity. Nye Black's first attempt is up and good. <laughs> 70 to 67. Bulldogs lead is three. Playing Jacksonville. 4.18 to go in the ball game. Nye Black's second attempt is up for Jacksonville and good. Two point game. Michael Teal gives over to Shimon Austin. Here we come up the floor. Left to right across the timeline. Man to man defense by Jacksonville. No, I take that back. It's a matchup zone. Two three matchup zone. Inside pass. Drake Jones wasn't looking for it. Intercepted by the oh Rivers. Goodness. Up the floor to Cook. Cook with a three pointer. Good. Just like that. Cook Five with a three pointer. 71 70. <laughs> Heel across the timeline. Over to Tifa Taylor. We're down a point. 3.45 to go. Shimon Austin at the top of the key. Austin starts to drive. Austin lays it up. And in. Shimon Austin playing out of his mind. Bulldogs back in lead in the 72-71. 3.30 to go. Nine black across the timeline in the front court. Gets over to McCray. McCray's been quiet. McCray starts to drive. Passes right corner. Marcus Nye Black is short. Knocked out of bounds by knocked out by Drayton Jones. Oh, and they get a call, Drayton Jones, and Drayton Jones uh, gets a, t a tick. My goodness. Yep, you can't do that. You can't do that. Now you hurt your team when you do stuff like that. You can't do that. He stomped his foot. He was, up, he was and, up there with the call. And he slammed the ball down. Yep. Yeah, and that's 72, 71. Bulldogs with the lead, but now Jacksonville's going to go to the free throw line. It's all good to have. It. Yeah, they're going to go get four opportunities. For the opportunity, they go get two for the one, and then the double bonus they get two, and then they get the two techs. So that's a chance for them to get four points. Ha! Huh. But he's, I like to see players play with emotion, but you can't do stupid things that hurt your team. That was not good. No, it was not. 72-71, the Bulldogs lead with 3.15 to go. Cook will be the free throw line. I'm going to put an asterisk by that, by that play there and see what happens. Boy. There's a timeout on the floor, Bill, with 3.15 to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll have more Bulldog basketball after these messages. You put in the work for your education. The extra early, extra late, extra, extra work. That's because you understand education opens doors to better pay, better opportunities, and a better you. Being educated about playing the lottery is no different. It helps you be a better player, one who knows when to play and when to take a rain check. The lottery's a game, so let's keep it fun. Learn more at sceducationlottery.com slash better you. Are you ready to experience the epitome of luxury and performance? Look no further than Dick Dyer and Associates, Mercedes Volvo. Imagine cruising through the streets in style, surrounded by luxurious interiors and cutting-edge technology. Mercedes-Benz and Volvo cars are built to exceed your expectations with exceptional safety features and unmatched reliability. So visit our showroom today if you're looking for a car that turns heads. Dick Dyer and Associates, Mercedes Volvo, and the South Carolina State University Bulldogs. Together, we're shaping a winning feature. Carolina, Smith, Hammond, to Memorial Center, Ernest Robinson, Bill Hamilton. 72-71, Bulldogs lead by a point with 3.15 to go, but a technical foul was just called after a foul was called on Drayton Jones. And now the official's over explaining, and here it comes over. Yes, yes sir. Okay, very good. All right. So they get a chance for four free throws. Yes, sir. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. All right. At the free line, Cook will be shooting the free throws. That was the official who made the call. And uh, free throws up and good. And yep. to be honest with you, Bill, I mean, it was, it was the correct call. Yeah, we appreciate that explanation. Yeah. Cook with another attempt coming. We're tied. Cook gives Jacksonville the lead, 73-72. And now you got to shoot the free throws. It's the one and one. That's pain. At in for the Bulldogs, Davion Everett, Mitchell Taylor, Caleb McCarty, Atiba Taylor, and Shimon Austin. Pain at the free throw line. He'll shoot two. Could add two more opportunities. 73-72, Bulldogs only down a point. We were just up by four just a moment ago. 
First attempt is up and good. Brought Payne all of a sudden looks like a really good free throw shooter. Yes, indeed. 74-72. We're only down two. 3.15 remaining. Payne another free throw attempt. Shot is up and good. 75-72. Jacksonville makes the most of it. They're down. We're down three. 3.13 to go. Mitchell Taylor walks it across the timeline. one three one zone by Jacksonville. Taylor, right side, Shaman Austin. Into the lane to Davion Everett. Across the floor to Tiba Taylor. Taylor thought about the three. Bounce pass to Davion Everett. Everett at the free throw line. Shaman Austin will shoot the three. It's good. Shaman Austin ties the game at three. What a shot. What a clutch in the clutch. Boy. 75-75, 2.45 to go. Jacksonville, I think, threw it. No, they didn't. I thought they threw it away. Uh, 2.46 to go. Bulldogs will not go away. They've answered every challenge by the Dolphins tonight. Got to be proud of them. Let's finish the job, guys. Let's Cook will inbound. Full court pressure by South Carolina State. Cook. Looking to get it to Robert McCray. McCray's guarded by Shimon Austin. They get it to McCray. Yeah. McCray in the backcourt. Hawk by Austin. He's McCray so walks it across the timeline. Austin swiping at the ball. Hands over to Nyblock. Marcus Nyblock starts to drive. Mitchell Taylor right there. Shot clock down to 12. Nyblock dribbles on Taylor. Hands over to Payne. I saw Payne travel before he put the shot up and he called the foul. Bill Fisher right in front of me. I thought sure he was going to call a travel. Yeah, he missed. He did travel on his... 2.27 to go here. He mishandled the ball and traveled, but the official let him get away with it. Ah. At the free throw line will be Stephon Payne, the third. Ah. They're getting fat at the free throw line tonight. 75 75 by score. 2.27 to go here in the ball game. It has been an incredible basketball game. Glad to have you with us. Listening on WPJK ESPN Orange Burn. They, they've attempted, this will be their 22nd free throw attempt to only 11 for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs have out-rebounded Jacksonville. 36-22, I see that. 36-22. Bulldogs have gotten 19 offensive rebounds. Well, you remember the other day against Patoon Cook when uh, we had a big edge in offensive rebounds, but it didn't pay off in points. Stephon Payne is at the free throw line. 75, 75, a lot of time left. 2.27 to go. He just made two in a row. Payne's second one is up and good. That's good looking free throw shooter. Yup. Taylor getting trapped from the free throw line. 76, 75, both teams in the bonus. Second attempt is no good. Rebounded by Caleb McCarty. Only a one point lead. Bulldogs with the basketball. 2.22 to go in the game. Mitchell Taylor in the front court. Taylor. Right wing of Shimon Austin inside to Caleb Mc uh, back over across the floor to Tiva uh, Taylor. Tiva Taylor on the left baseline. Strives, gets it over to Shimon Austin. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Austin on the left wing starts to drive. Left corner is Caleb McCarty. Mitchell Taylor for three. It's no good. Rebounds going out of bounds. Going to be a foul call. It's going to be on Payne. So we will go to the free throw line and can take the lead. Two minutes to go. 76-75. Bulldogs can regain the lead if uh, at the fourth point foul on Stephon Payne at the free throw line will be Drayton Jones. This is his first trip, first trip to the line tonight. Drayton Jones on the season. First attempt is up, no good. 55% free throw shooter, not his forte. No, nope. we only need, we need one. Pruitt comes in for Payne. One retired ball game. 76, 75, two minutes to go. Wow. Jones with another attempt coming. Couple dribbles. It's up. No good. Rebounded by Jacksonville. That's our Achilles Hill. Rivers with the rebound gives over to. McCray. McCray across the timeline. Guarded by Shimon Austin. We trail by point. 76-75. A minute 50 to go. Nine block. Guarded by Mitchell Taylor. Gets a pick to Donovan Rivers. Nine block starts to drive. Nothing there. Out front to Payne. I'm sorry. That's Pruitt. Gives over to McLean. To McCray. McCray starts to drive. Stops. Free throw line jumper. Is off the rim. Rebounded by Drayton Jones. Jones hands over to nine block. We can take the lead. A minute and a half to go. Nine block in the front court for the Bulldogs. Now block sets it up. 
Free throw line to McCarty. Baseline drive by Taylor. Back over to Shimon Austin. Out front to, to Ativa Taylor. 15 on the shot clock. A minute 15 to go in the game. 76-75, Shimon Austin. Austin calls over dribble. Spin move. Has it poked away by McCray. Recovers. Taylor. Starts to drive. Back over to Shimon Austin for three. I get it now. Oh, no. Rebound it. By Drayton Jones, came up with the steal. Atiba Taylor puts up the shot. It's no good. Taylor had another shot. Had it got the rebound again. 53 seconds to go, and there's a timeout call by Eric Martin yeah. with 52 seconds remaining. Bulldogs have the basketball. 76-75, 13 seconds on the shot clock. Bulldogs did an incredible job to get the rebound. I tell you, that was a great effort there by the Bulldogs, and I think Martin saw that Atiba Taylor was trapped along the baseline there, so he called it timeout. Good timeout. 52 seconds to go. Let me tell you something, folks. Uh, it's been a bomb burner. This has been some theater here tonight in Orangeburg. <laughs> Bulldogs, 76-75. Got Jackson Bill on the ropes with the basketball. 52 yep. seconds to go. I've seen this is the most passionate I've seen out of South Carolina State all year. Well, it's coming off the effort against the Bethune Cooper, yep. Bill. I know they had to get a tongue lashing in the locker room there by the coach. The Bulldogs would love to come away with a win here tonight. I tell you, we've had trouble finishing games all year. I, I hope we can close the deal tonight, Ernest. 52 seconds to go. 52.4 seconds to go. For South Carolina State on the floor as they break the huddle. It's going to be Mitchell Taylor, Atiba Taylor, Taylor McCarty, Shaman Austin, and Drayton Jones. Got two bigs in there to protect the rim. Two bigs in there to protect the rim. Shimon Austin will inbound from under the basket. Jacksonville's yet to come out yet. The officials got to go get him. 52.4 seconds to go. Bulldogs trail by a point. It is going to be McCray, Payne, Donovan Rivers, Cook, and Nyblock for Nyblock for Jacksonville. Shimon Austin will inbound from under the Bulldog basket on the right baseline, on the left baseline. Does so to Atiba Taylor. Taylor's in trouble. Taylor starts to drive. Taylor puts up the shot. Doesn't go in. It's going to be rebounded by Donovan Rivers. Taylor thought he got fouled. I thought he did too. He's off the glass. Jacksonville got the rebound. 46.1 seconds to go. We'll walk to the other end of the floor. Uh, you know, every, our guys get inside. They never get a call from the fishes. I'm just uh, tough. That was a tough turnabout right there. So Jacksonville will walk the length of the floor. Donovan Rivers will be the free throw line. The two shots. 76-75. And the double bonus. Rivers at 6-9. He's the only person to free throw line, but his first free throw. Shot is up and good. Donovan Rivers. Looked good on that one. 77-75. It's a two-point game. They don't have anybody under the basket. And I thought we should have... That's some confidence. Rivers makes the second one. Bill, they had nobody on the free throw line. Why he shot those free throws? It's a three-point Jacksonville lead. 78-75. 46.1 seconds to go. Could have easily have been uh, Tebow at the line. We thought he got fouled. Signed that winner that inside pass. Mitchell Taylor across the timeline. 40 seconds to go. Man-to-man -man defense by Jacksonville. Taylor starts to drive. Taylor lays it up. And got fouled. Man, goodness, it had gone in and been a three-point play. Wow. It didn't go in, so Taylor's going to go to the free throw line. Yep. 34.7 seconds to go, but what a drive by Mitchell Taylor. What? Bill, it just what? rattled around and did not go in. Well, how many times has that happened tonight? Too many times Bulldogs got right that have just rolled off the basket. 34.7 seconds to go. Taylor's got two free throws. First one's up and good. 78-76. Drayton Jones comes in, Atiba Taylor goes out. Shimon Austin comes in, Michael Teal goes out. Mitchell Taylor with another free throw attempt. A lot of time left, 34.7 seconds to go. We're down two. Taylor's second attempt is up and good. One point game, 34.7 seconds to go. Jossie Powell comes in the game for Donovan Rivers. Another so, ball handler. So you've got four guards in. Michael yep. Teal comes in for Drayton Jones. 34.7 yep. seconds to go. Jacksonville leads by a point. 78-77. 
Powell will inbound. Full court pressure by the Bulldogs. Powell running the baseline. Inbounds, and it's going to be an offensive foul call on Michael Knobloch. And the Bulldogs have the basketball, and we can take the lead with free throws. Now, that's an offensive foul. You don't shoot those. I don't know. No, it's an offensive foul. A rule, but you don't use the shoot free throws on offensive foul. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> So Mitchell we, Taylor will inbound. We got the ball. Yeah, we got the ball. We got to, we could run the clock down and win it. No, let's go. Cool. That's what I'm saying. Mitchell Taylor we will inbound it. some under the basket. Rivers is back in. Pruitt is in. McLean, McCray, Powell, and <laughs> Cook. For the Bulldogs, <laughs> Tiva Taylor, Dre uh, Jones, Caleb McCarty. What a Wilson Dubinsky. Excuse me, Ernest. What a dramatic game it's been. Mitchell Taylor will inbound. Got to get a good inbounds pass here, guys. <clears throat> and we're just waiting for the officials to uh, give them, hand them the ball. What is he waiting on? Well, they got to fix the clock now. It's got three minutes and 47 seconds oh, on the clock. I didn't see it's supposed that. to be 34.7. So we're waiting on the clock. seconds yeah hope they want the point seven up there yeah so we're waiting on the clock and that's what we're waiting for what's the problem it was 34.7 seconds yeah I mean what's the problem with the clock operate over there mm -hmm. sitting to see here Someone called Sidney Fulton. Yeah, he's sitting his over there. And that's what we're waiting, folks. 34, they have 34 seconds on the clock. They went to 3 minutes and 47 seconds, but it's 34.7 seconds. They got it up there now. Here we go. Yeah. Mitchell Taylor will inbounds. He's on the left baseline under the basket for the Bulldogs. Got to make a good entry pass here, Mitchell Taylor. Taylor will inbound. Taylor inbounds to Atiba Taylor. Atiba in trouble. Throws it to Dubinsky. Dubinsky comes up with the Mitchell Taylor. Out front to Dubinsky. Dubinsky starts to drive over to Atiba Taylor for three. It's short. Taylor had the rebound. McCray comes away with it. McCray is fouled. Atiba Taylor had a shot at it. It's short. It's short with 18.6 seconds to go. Jacksonville will be at the free throw line. Shooting two. I thought it was a good shot by uh, Taylor. Sure was. Uh, just uh, just shot it short. And sometimes when the, the pressure's on you, nervous, that's what happens when you shoot it short. Come on, Austin. Michael Teal to come into the game. Still out of time. of 18.6 seconds to go. Yeah, they could t they could go up by uh, three. Robert McCray at the free throw line. Nobody else at the free throw line with him. First of him rattles and goes in. 79-77. And that free throw line, they've got every bounce and every roll tonight. And the confidence the coach has, Bill, he has no one uh, rebounding. Yeah, don't want to risk a foul. Boy, that's pretty cool. Pretty confident. Yeah. 79-77, McCray with another free throw attempt. Can make it a three-point game. Shot is up. It rattles and rolls in. 80 to 77, 18.6 seconds to go. Bulldogs need a three. Or Atiba quick. Taylor rolls it to Shimon Austin. Austin up the floor. 17 seconds to go. Austin's going to have to rush. 13 seconds to go. Gets a pick from Caleb McCarty. Austin starts to drive. Austin to the Atiba Taylor for three. It's good. It's good. Atiba Taylor ties the game with six seconds to go. Powell up the floor. Powell in the front court. Throws it away with 1.5 seconds to go. The Bulldogs have the basketball with 1.5 seconds to go. Atiba Taylor with a dagger. We're tied at 80. One second to go in the game. Atiba Taylor the inbound in the backcourt. Taylor inbounds it to Teal. Throws up a shot. It's no good. We go to overtime. But Atiba Taylor with an incredible three-point shot. Bill Hamilton to tie the game. And it was just seconds after he had missed the shot. He shot one short. So that's a good way to rebound. Boy. We're tied at 80. With they five got overtime, minutes. folks. <laughs> Wow. Actually, in the, 
Bulldogs taking Jacksonville to the limit. I tell you, and they battle back from 12 points down. 80 to 80, our score. I can't take a timeout, Bill Hamlin, because um, <laughs> we're in overtime. I know. And uh, if I take a timeout, it's going to be a two-minute timeout. I can't do that. So wow, I'm going to keep boy. it right here. Boy, what a find there by uh, Michael Taylor. And he was confident. He had just missed one before. But, hey, you like to see that in the play. You know, you miss one. You don't put your head down and sunk. You try it again. And, boy, that was he buried it. 80 to 80 and score. We got five more minutes. And five more minutes. Foul, foul trouble now plays into this game, Bill. And they're in more foul trouble than we are. Well, you know, like already lost nine blocks. Nine blocks already gone. Yeah. So the Bulldogs. Thank you. As far as foul trouble is concerned, you've got Davion Everett has fouled out. I did not realize he fouled completely out. I didn't either. They've got him down with five fouls. I didn't think Davion had fouled out. I thought he had four. Drake Jones has got four, and and Ativa Taylor's got four, and James Morrow has got four. So it's going to get thin for the Bulldogs. Marcus Nyblack has fouled out. Good has four. Bulldogs are led by Mitchell Taylor with 14 points, and Michael Teal with 16 points. Caleb McCarty has 11. Shaman Austin has 11, but Shaman Austin he, has been big tonight. Yeah, he 11 got 11 points, four assists. Yeah, he got a, he got the start tonight by uh, Eric Martin, and he's proven that he deserves it. He's had a good game. Here we go. Bulldogs going from left to right. Jacksonville right to left. Rivers against Drayton Jones. Drayton controls the tap. Shaman Austin goes out of bounds. Boy, he controlled it a little too much. Knocked it out of bounds. Shaman yeah. couldn't get it. Jacksonville will have the basketball. No time has gone off the clock. Nope, because the clock hadn't started. It went out of bounds. Yeah, the official must have heard me. He came right by me and said, you got to take time off. <laughs> it took two seconds off. <laughs> Provel inbounds to Powell. Powell got about Tiva Taylor. Powell in the front court. Powell dribbles left side. Left wing now is Robert McCray. Robert McCray is so crafty. They need to get the ball out of his hands. Jones comes out, doesn't foul, and McCray gets in the lane to drive. McCray lays it up, threw up a crazy shot, but it's put back up and in by McCray. He got his own miss. Threw it off the backboard. No box. Didn't out. intend to. 82-80 on score. Mitchell well, Taylor across the timeline for the Bulldogs. 82-80. to He ran overtime. Inside to Drayton Jones. Back over to McCarty. McCarty lays it up. No foul call. And McCarty with the follow. I thought McCarty got fouled on that first one. But let me stop with the officials because I don't think they're doing a bad job. But <laughs> I thought McCarty on that drive got fouled. But I think they've missed a few tonight, Ernest. Inside, you know, we've, we haven't gotten many calls inside. Well, McCarty will go up. Bill, that's my, he's Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> that's Spider-Man right there. If I ever How's seen he it. done from the line tonight? Uh, he's only one attempt. He's one for one. McCarty's free throw attempt is airborne and good. Caleb McCarty, 82-81. Boy, I'd like to fight in these Bulldogs tonight. McCarty can tie the game. Caleb's second attempt is up. It's off the back of the rim, but rebounded by Drayton Jones. Jones inside to McCarty. McCarty over to Atiba Taylor out front. Mitchell Taylor will start the defense again. Mitchell right side to Drayton to uh, Shimon Austin. Austin guarded by McCray. Seven seconds. Austin right side to Atiba Taylor for three. Oh, it's off the back of the rim. Rebounded by Mitchell Taylor. Mitchell Taylor out front to Shimon Austin in a fresh shot clock. 3.50 to go. We trail by a point, 82-81. Shimon Austin starts to drive. Backs out now. Over to Drayton Jones. Back to Shimon for three. It's off the rim. It didn't hit anything. Went out of bounds. Last touch by Jacksonville. Bulldogs get a break with 3.43 to go. We've got the basketball again. 82-81. We trail by a point. Bulldogs are inbounds along the left baseline under the basket. Mitchell Taylor will inbounds. Lobs it inside of Drayton Jones. Drayton Jones trying to put it up. Caleb McCarty got fouled again by Robert McCray. They threw it up to Caleb. Caleb didn't come down with it, just tried to tap it in. And now McCarty can go to the free throw line and give us the lead with 3.40 to go. Donovan Riversville going to have to come in. 
Because that's it for Payne. Payne is out. Yep. So Stephon Payne, the third, is fouled out. McCarty was, he got inside there and tried to tap it up and was fouled. And now he's got a chance to put the Bulldogs ahead. McCarty missed the free throw. That's two in a row he's missed. God, that's been killing us. The Achilles heel for this team has been missed free throws in the closing minutes against Charleston Southern. All right, Bill, that's like we don't want to look at negative energy now. We're not going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> but Cardi's second attempt is coming. A lot of basketball left to be played. 3.40 to go. Second attempt is up and good. We're tied at 82. 3.40 to go. Inbounds to McCray. He's guarded by Shimon Austin. 3.35 to go. McCray across the timeline. Michael Teal about to come back in. McCray keeps the basketball, keeping the dribble alive on the right baseline. McCray has it knocked away by Atiba Taylor, goes out of bounds. Last touch by Taylor. But what a bad pass by Robert McCray as Michael Teal comes in for Mitchell Taylor. 82-82, 3.26 to go here. Robert McCray will inbounds just to my left along the left sideline in the front court. McCray inbounds Donovan Rivers. Goes into the backcourt. That's a backcourt violation. My goodness, I have to yell at the referee and tell him. It, 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 took, the pitch, it took the official a little while to call it. Uh, he heard you, Ernest. Jamon Austin will inbound. <laughs> Dominski comes in. Michael Teal goes out. Yes. Atiba Taylor will inbound. The game is tied at 82, 324 to go. Austin will bring it across the timeline. Austin, Dubinsky, Atiba Taylor, Drayton Jones, and Caleb McCarty. Free throw line to Drayton Jones inside to Caleb McCarty. Goes out of bounds off Jacksonville. That was a good pass by Drayton Jones. Mc McCarty just didn't handle it. He would have gotten the layup. Atiba Taylor will inbound. Bulldogs have the basketball. 20 seconds on the shot clock. 3.13 to go. We're tied. We've had Atiba Taylor. Inbounds to Dubinsky for three. It's off the back of the rim. Atiba uh, McCarty had it for it, pulls it down. And we got a foul call. Is that on McCarty? Yes, it is. And the coach is out on the floor of Jacksonville. We're just kind of sitting here. Coach from Jack and the coach from Jacksonville just got, got a tech. The coach came out on, on the court, half court. They've been going out to fish it all night, Ernest. Yep, yep. They've been going out to fish it all night. Of course, the Jordan Mincy is the head coach of Jacksonville. Yes. And they've been able to just manipulate the officials all night long, and one official just had enough. Said, look, yep. I'm tired of this. 82-82 our score, 3.08 to go. And as I mentioned earlier, one of the Jacksonville assistants is Trevor DeLoach, who was assisting here on the... Uh, Murray Garvin uh, a few years ago. 3.08 to go. Glad to have you with us, folks, on WPJK ESPN Orangeburg. Hope you're enjoying the basketball game. Bulldogs. Did, did they call a tech? Yes, they did oh, call a tech. What are they out. talking about? Well, they're probably going to decide on... They're they going to rescind it? How many? No, I don't, think they, I don't think they can rescind it. Ernest Robinson, Bill Hamilton. I tell you what, we've been playing with the rules tonight. <laughs> I've got to shoot free throws. Wow. This has been a dramatic, incredible game. Let me tell you something. Though. I do admire South Carolina State for how poorly we played on Saturday. Yeah. To come back on Monday and just be a totally different team. With energy and passion. So now they're sending someone over to explain to Coach Mincy, Jordan Mincy, what the penalty is. Now they're coming to us too, I hope. 82-82, we're in overtime. 3.08 to go here in Orangeburg. You know, according to these stats, here, Jacksonville did not score a field goal in the last four minutes, nine seconds. They did it all from the line. Yep, yep. But, of course, we did not help. Yeah, by giving them opportunities. Yep. And then we missed too many. We missed uh Well, let's not worry about the misses. We don't worry about the mix. And here yep. comes the official over at the top of me. He's going to tell us. After the original foul. Okay. We have a dead ball contact foul 
of South Carolina State number one. We men have an unsporting contact foul on uh, the head coach of Jacksonville. Because those both happen during the same dead ball, we do not shoot free throws. Very good. However, because one is a dead ball contact, the penalty also includes the ball. We're going to shoot the free throws for the original foul, and then Jacksonville State is going to get the ball at the spot of the foul for the dead ball contact. Very good. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Hope oh, you got all that because I'm not going to be able to repeat it. That's why I tried to get the official to say it. And by the way, uh, just <laughs> just to correct the official, it's not Jacksonville State, it's Jacksonville yeah, University. Yeah. As a contact foul, he said, a contact so foul. So Pruitt will be at the free throw line for Jacksonville. Pruitt misses the free throw. Jacksonville had made a bunch in a row. And they get the ball. And they get the ball. This is the second one. So we're still tied at 82. Yeah. And Jacksonville gets the ball. Yep. The, the two, the two uh, unsportsmanlike offset each other. Right. So we're tied at 82. 3.08 to go. Jacksonville just missed two free throws. Cook will inbound for Jacksonville. Rivers, Cook, McCray, Pruitt, and Powell. For South Carolina State, Stabinski, McCarty, Jones, Shimon Austin, and Mitchell and Mitchell Taylor. And I'm sorry, Michael Teal. McLean's with McCray with the basketball in the front court, double team. McCray, nearly stolen by Teal, but Powell maintains possession. Tied at 82. Powell up front dribbling the basketball for Jacksonville. Powell dribbles around. Powell goes to the basket. Powell. And Rivers stepped out of bounds. Drayton Jones did a heck of a job inside, not fouling. And Jacksonville turns it over. So it'll be South Carolina State basketball, 2.43 to go in the ballgame, in overtime. And a tie game at 82. Drayton Jones to inbound. Does throw to Shimon Austin. 82-82. Austin across the timeline for the Bulldogs. Right wing is Wilson Dubinsky. Top of the key is Shimon Austin. 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 Left baseline, Wilson Dubinsky. Out front, Shimon Austin. Free throw line is Drayton Jones. Over to Wilson Dubinsky. Dubinsky, right wing is Teal. Teal stops, shoots. It's off the back of the rim. Tapped up by McCarty. Out front to Dubinsky. Here we go with a fresh shot clock. 2.09 to go. We're tied at 82. Bulldogs with the basketball. Starts to drive Austin. Back over to Drayton Jones, hands over to Austin. Drayton Jones, Austin has it knocked away. It's stolen by Jacksonville. Powell with it. Bulldogs didn't get a shot off. Yeah. Austin may be hurt. 82-82, a minute 50 to go. A tough McCray. Tough possession of With the basketball. McCray in the front court now. A minute 40 to go. McCray dribbles right side. McCray left side to Cook. Cook starts to drive. Cook stops. Leans in. Drew the foul. Threw it up. But Cook leaned in. In the NBA, that wouldn't have been a foul. That would have been a charge because he created the contact. It's very good. Very good. Exactly right. Bill. He created the contact, and the fish would let him get away with it. 1.36 to go. Cook will be at the free throw line. Excellent free throw shooter for Jacksonville. Yeah, he shoots about, what, 90% or so. Minute 36 to go, but of course, everybody's free, free throw percentage changes at this time of the game. Yeah. First attempt is up. What did I tell you? Everybody changes this time of the game. He misses the first one. And Jacksonville doesn't even have anybody on the free throw line. They're so confident in their free throw shoot. Yeah, they've done that to what, to down the stretch all night. No one's under the basket for Jacksonville. Cook's second attempt is up. It's good. It's a one-point Jacksonville lead, a minute 36 to go. Coming into the game for Jacksonville, that is Sabino. Bulldogs, let it roll up the floor. Mitchell Taylor will pick it up in half court and take it across the timeline. Bulldogs trail by point, 83-82. Michael Teal's back in the game with the basketball. Zone defense by Jacksonville. Yeah, they sitting back in that zone. Right side is Wilson Dubinsky. Dubinsky, out front to Teal. Inside to McCarty. Into the corner to Dubinsky. Dubinsky starts to drive. Back over to McCarty. Dubinsky for three. It's off the front of the rim, rebounded by McCarty. And they're going to call a foul. It's going to be on Jacksonville. It looks like number 10 over there. Foul. 
Powell. Jossie Powell with the foul. A minute 14 to go. We trail by a point 83-82. At the free throw line will be Michael Teal. So you get the guy at the free throw line you'd want with a minute 14 to go. The two shots. Teal's first attempt is up and good. 83-83, we're tied once again with a minute 14 to go. Free basketball, and we've got a timeout on the floor. Jerome Mincy wants to talk it over. He's played almost four minutes in this overtime, and what, just two points have been scored. Good defense by both teams. No, three. It was 80, what, it was 88? Oh, it's 80, okay, 80, 80, okay. 83, 83 right now, minute 14 to go. Boy. Michael Teal will be at the free throw line after this time on, but I'll but tell you what, the Bulldogs have really played great so far. Nice to close this thing out. I tell you, I'd like to see him, uh, as you say, close the deal, guys. You know, you deserve to win this. You've played your hard out, come back from 12 points down. 114 to go here. Looking at Jacksonville on the season, where did I, my, my Jacksonville notes got away from me. I got notes everywhere. I can't reach. Oh, <laughs> I almost went on the floor. I have to walk around, folks, on the floor. I know it's went on the floor. Jacksonville, on the season as a team, but has uh, defeated Johnson, Georgia Southern, Robert Morris, FDU. That's a big win. 91-90. Campbell, Georgia Southern again. So it will be Michael Till at the free throw line for the lead for the Bulldogs as we are tied at 83, a minute 14 to go. Wilson Dubinsky, Mitchell Taylor, Michael Teal, Caleb McCarty, and Drayton Jones for the Bulldogs. Shimon Austin waiting to check in. He's coming in for Teal, I believe. Teal's free throw attempt is up off the front of the rim, tapped up by McCarty. Rebounded by Jacksonville. We're tied at 83, a minute five to go. Mc Robert McCray in the front court. We're tied at 83, a minute to go. McCray he's in so trouble. He's so crafty. McCray picks up the dribble. Throws it across the floor to Powell. Top of the key now is Pruitt. Hands over to Powell. Powell drives. Free throw line jumper is short. Rebounded by the Bulldogs. Caleb McCarty had it. He's fouled by Rivers. Caleb McCarty. Spider-Man comes up with every I tell you, rebound. He might be thin, but he battles inside on it. Like Spider-Man did. Yes, indeed. Those long arms. Now, now he's missed two. Uh, he's missed three out of four free throws. <laughs> Bill, why do you keep bringing these I, things up? Because I want him to make them, man. I got 83, 83.86.9 seconds to go, folks. I'm gonna grab him. Uh, he, he needs to drop both of these, Ernest. He needs to get them both. McCarty at the free throw line, 46.9 seconds to go. We're tied at 83. Glad to have you with us on WPJK ESPN Orangeburg. First attempt is up and off the back of the rim, no good. McCarty misses the free throw. 83-83. I hate to beat a dead horse to death, but uh, don't do it. Caleb McCarty with another free throw attempt. Our Achilles heel. Second attempt is up and good. 84-83, 46.9 seconds to go. Bulldogs lead by a point. Jacksonville inbounds to Robert McCray. McCray across the timeline. Jacksonville's going to call a timeout. Knew they would with 43.5 seconds to go. Bulldogs with the one-point lead. Well, we know Coach Mincy wants the ball into McCray's hand. He's such a crafty player, and he passes the ball well. So. We know we got to keep an eye on McCray. 43.5 seconds to go. Folks, what a game it's been. Glad to have you with us on WPJK ESPN Orangeburg. I told you this game was free. You could have come by and seen this game for free tonight I tell in Orangeburg. You. And this is one of the most exciting games of we've season. been involved with of the season. Yep. There's no doubt about that. 84-83, yep. South Carolina State leading Jacksonville with 43.5 seconds to go. For South Carolina State, it'll be Mitchell Taylor, Drayton Jones, Simone Austin, Wilson Dubinsky, and Caleb McCarty. For 
Jacksonville. You know, I know Robert McCray is going to be out there. Also out there for Jacksonville, looks like it's going to be Jarius Cook, Yossi Powell, huh, Juwan Pruitt, and Donovan Rivers. One. Jacksonville will inbound. Cook will inbound. Into the backcourt to Robert McCray. 40 seconds to go. McCray across the timeline, guarded by Shimon Austin. 38 seconds to go. McCray starts to drive. McCray puts up the shot, and McCray got fouled before he got to the basket with 34.3 seconds to go. McCray will be at the free throw line. Who's the foul on 30? I want to say it's on Shimon Austin. 24. It is on Austin. So McCray's at the free throw line, and once again, Jacksonville doesn't have any players on the free throw line. Of course, they're in the bonus. Makes the first one. 84-84, he makes the first one. Coming into the game, Sabino for, for Cook. 34.3 seconds to go. McCray's second attempt is up. And good. 85-84, Jacksonville leads by a point. McCarty inbounds to Mitchell Taylor. Here come the Bulldogs, can take the lead with the basket. 30 seconds to go. Taylor, hawked over there by Pruitt. Taylor starts to drive inside to Drayton. Jones slams it down. What a dish from Drayton to Mitchell Taylor to Drayton Jones. Bulldogs have the lead. 86-85, 18 seconds, 17 seconds. McCray starts to drive. McCray. 13 seconds. McCray. And was going to be an offensive foul on Robert McCray. Bulldogs have the ball in the lead with 11.7 seconds to go. Robert McCray pushed off on the drive. Good defense there by the Bulldogs. And now we got to survive 11.7 seconds. You know they're going to foul. 86-85. Can we make free throws? I don't think Jacksonville has the time now. So it, it can't, but Shimon Austin is going to inbound. You know they're going to fight. Okay. Austin inbounds to Caleb McCarty. McCarty back over to Shimon Austin. Over to Mitchell Taylor. Seven seconds. Six seconds. In the back row. Bullock throw it away almost. Over to Caleb McCarty. And it's a, a ten-second ten second violation. violation. But only .7 seconds to go in the game. It's a ten-second violation. Only .7 seconds to go. That is time enough for a catch and shoot. And I don't think Jacksonville's going like they got a timeout. I don't think they have a timeout. They don't have a timeout. And now Eric Martin calls a timeout. Well, now they put 1.1 seconds left to go in the game. South Carolina State leading 86 to 85. 1.1 seconds to go in the game. Eric Martin calls a timeout. Boy, the Bulldogs got a 10 second. All they need to do is get the ball in the front court. 1.1 seconds to go. Dallas James looks like he's coming into the game. Did you guard the basket? So Dallas James is coming into the game. All seven foot, 200 pounds. Dallas James, the junior center. He's one for one seconds to go. They're gonna put him on the man uh, with the outside uh, with the basketball, so you have to throw over. The thing about it is, you don't want to commit a foul. No. One point one second to go. One point one second to go. Oh my! What a game! Fisher looked up at side. It's a pretty good one, isn't it? <laughs> pretty good one. Whoa, boy! This has been a Dallas James coming over near. The ball is right in front of me. Kyle's going to inbound. Dallas James, they're giving the instructions. All seven foot of him. 1.1 seconds to go. Kyle the inbound. Kyle the inbound. Dallas jumping up in front of me. Kyle the inbound. Kyle. Gets it to McRae. Goes up the shot. It's no good. South Carolina State has won. 86-85 over Jacksonville. What a huge win for the Bulldogs. As South Carolina State upsets Jacksonville, 86-85. This is one of the cuttiest wins for the Bulldogs in a couple years. 
I am so happy for Eric Martin and his team. Well, they showed a lot of heart tonight. A lot of heart. Wow, yes, what indeed. a big win for South Carolina Yes, State. indeed. We battled all night. 86-85. Glad you stuck with us, folks. Finally closed the deal, folks. The Bulldogs get to win 86-85 over Jacksonville. We will take a time out and begin a wrap-up of tonight's game after these messages. You're listening to WPJK ESPN Orangeburg. Hi, this is Phil Kornblut, and each weeknight, sports fans across South Carolina come together on Sports Talk here on ESPN Orangeburg, 1580 AM, 92.9 FM. We bring you the latest from the Bulldogs, Gamecocks, and Tigers, interviews with sports personalities, and our own takes on the key issues, plus plenty of your calls. So be sure to join us each weeknight at 6 for Sports Talk, South Carolina's number one sports talk show, right here on ESPN Orangeburg, 1580 AM, 92.9 FM. Do you have an old car sitting around your house? Maybe you're even paying insurance on it. Well, if you don't need that car anymore, donate it, running or not, to the United Breast Cancer Foundation. They will even come and pick it up for free and give you a receipt for a tax donation. Breast cancer screening could save the life of someone you love. And right now, they need your help. They want to save more lives through early detection by offering women free or low-cost breast screening exams. And that's what your old car helps to pay for. So get your phone out and call right now to donate your car to the United Breast Cancer Foundation. Remember, they will come pick it up for free and give you a tax donation receipt. Call right now at 800-245-0471. 800-245-0471. That's 800-245-0471. 800-245-0471. Everything is expensive right now. Gas, food, you name it. You're spending more, you are making the same or less money. So, what do you do? You rack up credit card debt, that's what you do. It's not your fault, it's the economy. And guess what? If you rack up too much credit card debt like some of us, you can't pay your bills. Then the credit card companies, as nice as they are, start hounding you for money. Then you start your downward spiral. A smart thing for you to do is to call the Zero Debt. They can help you consolidate all your credit card bills into one affordable payment. Millions of people have done it. It works to make you debt-free. Make this free call right now. It costs you nothing to learn more. 800-507-7293. 800-507-7293. Eight hundred five zero seven seven two nine three. That's eight hundred five zero seven seventy two ninety three. Hello, this is Stacy Huff, host of Huff Nation Sports Zone, Saturdays from 10 to 11 a.m. right here on 92.9 FM ESPN Orangeburg. I'll cover local, national, and worldwide sports topics and also take a look at the week that was and a look ahead at the week to come. I look forward to having you along for the ride each and every Saturday morning, 10 to 11 a.m. on Orangeburg's ESPN station, 92.9 FM. Huff Nation Sports Zone, a fun trip around the world of sports. South Carolina, Ernest Robinson, Bill Hamilton on WPJK ESPN Orangeburg. Bulldogs get the win 86 to 85 over Jacksonville. What a big win it was for the Bulldogs. Balance scoring bill. Five guys in double figures. Five guys in double figures this afternoon. What a what a and then you had Caleb McCarty. 14 points, 14 rebounds. Drayton Jones with 10 rebounds. You know, if you're going to pick a player of the game, you know, Caleb McCarty. Would he, have to be that guy. Well, Caleb, <laughs> I mean, Shimon Austin g gave you, you know, got got the bucket. You know, he also had a T.B. Taylor come in and made a huge three. I mean, it's just a great team effort for the Bulldogs. Such a night and difference change between this past weekend and Monday night. I tell you, and I know uh, Eric Martin uh, has to be proud of his team. They played with energy throughout most of the ball game and down the stretch. Uh, they really showed some passion, and uh, and that broke a seven-game losing streak, folks, for South Carolina State, uh, and it, it came with a dramatic weight. You're talking about doing it the hard way. I mean, yes. you're talking about going to overtime, taking Jacksonville to overtime. Uh, Jacksonville got a great effort from Robert McCray to give him A.C. Flora at 22 points, Jerry Cook at 21 points, but Bill foul trouble eventually caught up to Jacksonville as the Bulldogs extended the game yep. and could take advantage in the overtime. Because they lost one of their top shooters there, Marcus uh, uh, Nye Black, you know, who was one of their starters. You know, he, he went out early with five fouls. Of course, 
The Bulldogs lost touch. Davion Everett, our lead scorer and rebound to coming in. Then out for good night, but South Carolina State won. Well, Bulldogs got some good efforts off the bench. Atiba Taylor uh, had yep. 10 points off the bench. Really and, good. Uh, he, 10 he, points. But his floor leadership was really good. Yeah. And, you know, Tiva Taylor wasn't afraid at the moment when he had the moment. So from that standpoint, he really did a good job as far as keeping the Bulldogs in. And we're going to take a time out. We'll come back and we'll kind of wrap things up. Hopefully we'll have a chance to talk with uh, Eric Martin here tonight uh, as the Bulldogs get the big win over Jacksonville by a score of 86-85. to We'll be yeah. back after these messages. It's a new day for health care in Bamberg, Calhoun, and Orangeburg counties. That's because MUSC Health, the top-ranked hospital in South Carolina, is elevating local care by improving current services and introducing new services and technology. Now there's no need to travel for superior care. MUSC Health, we're changing what's possible so you can stay close to home. Learn more at muschealth.org slash Orangeburg. Hello, I'm Harold Young, Orangeburg County Administrator. Myself and County Council would like to welcome you to South Carolina State University in Orangeburg County. South Carolina State games are like no other. They are important to the students, the alumni, and especially our community. For those coming back home, welcome to the new Orangeburg. And for those already here, let's continue to make it better. Congratulations to President Alexander Conyers and the South Carolina State University. So let's go Coach Pugh and leave Bulldogs. Let's get this win. And as always, it's a great day in Orangeburg County. Thank you. Bulldog Nation is home to some of the most loyal fans in the nation. No one represents their team quite like you do. Do you ever wish your financial institution